CancelFlowRadio.com, the South Florida Radio Network. Good morning. Huber, 1958. A proud people, happy to live under the Batista regime, who took great pride in the... It's Friday, you bastard. My candidate is calm and collected, with the best chance of getting elected. Married 16 years and never cheated. My candidate cannot be defeated. With your help, I know she can win. So vote for Hillary, Hillary, Hillary Clinton She's got the guts to stand by her man If she can't do it, no one can She's blonde and a lawyer too Just think of all the laws she'll push through Get out that ballot and write in For Hillary, Hillary, Hillary Clinton Her mate's a dolphin, that's true But he ain't the nothing that push hasn't tried on you The other candidates are fine on TV But not half as fine as Hillary, vote early, vote off in For Hillary, Hillary, Hillary Clinton Think of the great political wives of history Who outshine their husbands just like Hillary Amelda, Cleopatra, and Eva Perone But next to Hillary Clinton, they're all outshone Vote early, vote off in For Hillary, Hillary, Hillary Clinton H-I-L-L-A-R-Y Hillary, Hillary, she's our guy the great state of Arkansas She looks like she got off the set of L.A. law And that's totally cool by me So vote for Hillary, Hillary, Hillary Clinton <laughs> Get it, girl! Cuba, 1958 A proud people, happy to live under the Batista regime Who took great pride in their heritage of sugarcane farms Tobacco, mob-run casinos, Cadillac dealerships, hookers, and syphilis. Then came the specter of Comunista Comunista. Leaving Cuba with only the heritage of sugarcane farms, tobacco, European-run casinos, hookers, and syphilis. Since that time, only one true Cuban savior burst forth from the Virgin Mary's papaya and lowered gingerly to earth by angels on a silken pillow of freedom. No, not that little waterlogged puke alien, but the real baby Jesus who sits on the moist hand of God, George, Jorge to you, Rodriguez. Adore him as you would Christ, or be struck down by the mighty gods of Hakahois. The baby Jesus is here, and you are there. Or not. Welcome to the show, everybody. Ah. I know, everything's running slow today. We don't, we don't care. That's how we do things. First show we've done in a long time. Alan, I didn't answer your call this morning because I was so, so busy, and I don't want to go into details um, how, how or why. Sorry, Alan. I was busy, but why don't you call on the air, Alan? It'll be fun. We can discuss ghoulism, although he told me that uh, I shouldn't. You so you know I did. shouldn't what? I had to explain what a ghoul is. We already talked about that. To, well, guess what? We weren't done. Because no. when you're talking to Alan, you're never done. Oh, goodness. <laughs> It's called the vortex. <laughs> I shit you not. When you're t like, it doesn't matter what you say to Alan. Alan has his own agenda. Mm -hmm. Alan is going to plow ahead through his agenda, and he's just going to repeat his thing over and over again. You would think that with that kind of a strategy or personality that he would be a good salesperson. But? But he's not. I don't have mirrors in my shoes. Uh, it's on your shoes, Alan. We didn't say in your shoes. <laughs> Welcome to the first show in a long time. I guess the only show this month, although here to humor Alan, not the least, and the, yes. you will be playing a, a prominent part in this. He wants me to do a music show of some mm -hmm. sort. Mm -hmm. you, you've been involved mm -hmm. in this conversation, mm -hmm. and I keep putting it off and putting it off because life intrudes in this business and having to do a lot of things. I'll get into um, recent developments here on SoFloRadio.com uh -oh. uh, momentarily, but first I want to talk about Alan at great length. Just talk, just talk. All kinds Let of updates out. to do. We're going to talk about Hillary and Benghazi and gun control and such. Yeah. Shows up. All kinds of wonderful things on the show today. Yay. But Alan has been wanting me to do a music show, and I don't even know what he means by that. Yeah, me neither. So that's okay. 
that means that we can engage our own imagination of what that means. So we are going to develop the music show ourselves. As we see fit. We have a huge library of music. Uh, I build it daily. I add to my library daily. I sit here and uh, watch the Pandora. I watch Pandora. <laughs> you watch it go by. I, I watch it on my TV because I have a doohickey that lets me watch uh -huh. uh, or stream any internet content to my so television, Alan, including Alan social wants radio. You to, uh, uh, has, how, how's this? <laughs> uh, Alan wants you to do... Non-stop music. This music show that he uh, is talking about, uh -huh. uh, he, it's going to be a... A, well, a simulcast of sorts, a tricast. Okay, what does that mean? That it will be broadcast live on SoFloRadio.com. She's Only Rock and Roll .com, our sister station. Stay tuned to the She's Only Rock and Roll simulcast mm -hmm. from 3 till 4 today, otherwise known as the She Play, as we call it. The She Play. Yes, you see that? She plays see what with you the did? The She Play. Don't do that. Um, God, if you're not looking at the webcam right now, the beautiful Natalie Jimenez Diaz, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. So, and, and, and on Zeta, I'm not sure the exact website Alan will be calling up momentarily to correct me. Okay. Sure. Although he, he works until like 1 o'clock, so I'm not expecting his call until 1. And Suds will be along today. Yay, love Suds. We love Suds. We're going to rub liniment on him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and by we, I mean you. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold the liniment. That's I'll hold exactly him. I'll hold him in a full today. Nelson, and you can Stay rub liniment on his guys, chest. Stay tuned, guys, because there'll be, be a lot of rubbing stuff. And some at some point on the show today, one of us is going to show our tits. We just don't oh know. yeah, definitely we that too. We're going to roll some dice. So excited! It's gonna I trimmed. Be a great show. I, I trimmed my um, <laughs> chest hair a little bit. Well, that's very considerate of you. <laughs> I am considerate, if nothing else. So detail oriented. I'm, I'm manscaped like a French fag for my date last night. Just in case. Oh my so, goodness! So how was your date, by the way? I'll get to that later. Come Orchid, on. I've got my flyer over here. I told you it ended with dog poop. Gosh. And it, by the way, it was just a. It was a. You know. There's nothing. There's nothing to talk about. I believe yet, except for the show, and I will be talking about that. Meanwhile, back to Alan's mirrors, mm -hmm. the mirrors in Alan's shoes. I I really like Alan. I genuinely do. I think he's a fascinating individual. What? I think that he should. I'm telling you. I I'm serious. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa I think. Whoa. Yeah. I'm I'm not lying. I shit Since you not. Since when? I all you do is hate on Alan. And see, then when that pirate guy was here. No, what was his name? Byron. That one. Yeah, he's not a pirate. <laughs> I don't know why. I remember him as a he's pirate. He's the incredible melting man. Oh, you know what? It's because he wears that bandana. But um, then when he yeah. was here, you guys were just hating on Alan, just hating away, hating this away. Why, now, suddenly you like him. This is you why. You need to get your emotions straight. L listen, I'm in sorry. this business, because you're, you know? you're, you're, you're on the shores of this business, you will realize that material is gold. And Alan <laughs> is a gold mine. It's gold mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> You want to have something to talk about. And five minutes with Alan generates an hour of material. He's a one, <laughs> wonderful exchange rate. I can't wait Although to meet this Five guy. minutes I mean, with seriously. Alan feels like an hour. <laughs> you haven't met Alan yet? No. Alan should visit. The, we'll, we will, maybe uh, on our first music show. Him. Maybe on our first music show, we'll see when Alan has a day off and get okay. him in here. It, 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 listen, he is an experience. <laughs> Uh, he reeks of cigarettes, but oh great! It comes out as pores. That's another thing about Alan and and other people. Uh, uh, tangent, tangent time. Tangent. Oh no, I don't want a tangent. Just tell me, hey George, remember that tangent you were gonna take? Okay, okay. Take I'm it now. Remind me of that down. later. Remind me of that that tangent. I'm writing it down. Back to the music show really quickly. Tentatively next Friday, uh, I'll do a music show. Music and talk. We'll just be we'll be talking shit and playing shit. The working title that I have for it is um, Music Madness or Midday Music Madness oh. with George and whoever else decides to show up. Not the least. I thought it was gonna be talk shit, play shit. Talk shit, play <laughs> shit. Yeah. Well, that's that's the in parentheses. Midday Music Madness. Talk shit, play shit. And it's going to be on she's only rock and roll .com, which is, as you know or may not know, classic rock. And the. Uh, ZetaRadio.com, I think, is the Zeta. is the website, and that's modern rock, alternative rock. Alan calls me up one day. George, George, I'm adding things to the playlist. Uh, a friend of mine gave me some uh, gave me some MP3s. Uh, There's an artist here I don't recognize. I want you to tell me if he's any good. Uh, Lincoln Park. <gasps> I, go, oh I said yes, God. Alan. He's great. I, I, well, the song is. I go. You don't have to tell me the song. It's uh, it's great. Really? Oh, God, so, so the song is, and then you know, and he's like, I, I forgot what he named off. It's numb. It's not. Yeah, I mean, I know it's numb, and the song is good too. 
I don't like it. I said Alan, they're a group and they're great. They're huge. They're bigger than God. Just which, put them on the list. Just, just put, put them on the list. list. I really never got. I've never heard. I said I'm sure. I'm sure you haven't heard of indoor plumbing, <laughs> Alan. As out of touch as you are, but he does have some nice white shoes. Oh, with mirrors. On top. You understand the concept. I don't actually. What do you all right. mean? Um, well, all right. The next time, way, when we the next time that you come here, morning, yeah, the I next was time, behind her. I, I was thinking Alan would. Not the least. Would you're not a million dollars. You're not wearing a skirt. Uh -huh. uh, the next time that you visit the studio in a skirt, I will demonstrate what mirrors on the tops of the shoes are for. Tell you what, we'll both wear a skirt. Uh, Get it? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be good. <laughs> and he'll have to guess. I like yeah, that idea. Yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I'll have to guess hard. N no, not George. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Alan? Alan? Yeah. That's too funny. One of these things is not like the other. You One know, of I'll, these things bring, just doesn't belong. A little I'll, bring a, I'll bring a kielbasa for her to put in there. Oh, oh God. good Lord. <laughs> he'll have to guess. Oh jeez. We'll just have to go by the color. Uh, <laughs> one of the one of these two ladies bleaches their ass. I'll give you a hint <laughs> as to which I one don't. it isn't. <laughs> so from the waist down. So there's I'm the fine. teaser. There's the Allen thing. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I got this, I'm not spend the whole first segment on on the fascinating individual that is Alan Michaels. <laughs> Especially because I know he's not listening right now. He'll he'll hear this on the replay. Yeah. So <laughs> He's been giving me a hard time. He says, I can sell that show. You do a music show. You just uh, talk shit and play shit. And, uh, so the music show that I have in mind, because a lot of there's a lot of new uh, music available right now, as, mm -hmm. as we all know, not the least. But none of it specific, none of it really, no, I can't say none of it. Most of it, mm -hmm. well, none of it fits the She's Only Rock and Roll, because that's classic rock. Yeah. With all due respect, and I love my classic rock. Here's a big disclaimer. Disclaimer. I love Beatles and Stones and everything, and I listen to it in my car and everything. I don't think, at least for my part, I don't think that that's what I want to present to the audience because they already have it, know it, know it well. It's, so not, news, it's not news. Uh, Zeta Radio, modern rock, alternative rock. Okay, I got some stuff in that mm -hmm, department mm -hmm, still, mm -hmm. but it's only a part of all of the things that I have been absorbing lately thanks to Pandora. And I'm sure in, in your case, because young people listen to new music and then at some point, I don't know what the age is, they surgically extract the part of your brain that makes you want to hear new music anymore. I was sick that day. So, you so didn't it didn't get happen that. to me. Yeah. I still like to listen to new music. And if it sounds weird and bizarre, I listen to Even it twice. <laughs> like the new Moombaton thing that's going on right now, which okay. is a mixture of reggaeton and, uh, and dubstep. What's it's that? weird. It's like sweet and sour. The the reggaeton kind of takes the edge off of the dubstep. I uh, want to hear some of we that. Can, Sounds we, interesting. It is interesting, and I could play, I could play a little bit of it. As a matter of fact, while we're talking about it, because it's mostly instrumental. Moombaton. Moombaton. Who named uh, it? <laughs> in, invented by the the group that invented it. This is according to Dio, who has um, MiamiMusicRadio.com, and it's doing very well. One of our okay. sister stations. Dio turned me on to that, and. Uh, uh, Nodestrum is the preeminent band that coined the phrase, supposedly. Nodestrum. Where are Na they from? Nodestrum. I have no idea. You know, it could be a dude. Could be. I, Unless you wiki things these days, you're not going to have a clue. This is mostly instrumental. It's something that they play in the clubs. Uh, they have, I don't know, three or four songs that I've heard so far that I think are good. But it's just, it's beats. It's stuff that you dance to and roll to and... Uh, and layers. I have also some new stuff. You know the guitarist from the Red Hot Chili Pepper has like 11 or 12 solo albums out? What? The guitarist from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. By himself? John Fruscianti Fruscianti. I have no idea how to pronounce his name. But there's... Thank you, Pandora, for turning us on to new music all the time. And... But it's a mishmash. The things that I've been writing down and downloading and adding to the recent additions on my playlist are all over the fucking place, to say the very least. Okay. So it's not going to fit the the format of either one of those sister stations that I'm going to be simulcast on. Mm -hmm. It's not going to fit any format whatsoever. It, that's why I'm calling it Music Madness. All okay. over the place. There's all over the road. We discussed this before. AOR is supposed to stand for Album Oriented Rock. Correct? Right. But we called it All Over the Road because generally speaking, it was programmed very loosely. All Over the Road. Is that how you would refer to it, Boca? It was programmed very loosely. AOR. The AOR format. AOR, but the, the original Top 40 was as well. Right. If you were, if you were they called, didn't have they anything. Yeah. They didn't have the kind of rigid guidelines that they have now, which is very and that's why radio sucks and is dead. And FM changed all that. Just that we missed the drop, but Okay. But anyway, you understand. You under, you get it. I see, I see. You hear the reggaeton a little bit back there? I 
the undertones. And then the, dub, the dubstep. The undertones weep, 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 weep. It sounds like alien lasers attacking you. It's very playful, but I do feel I I, I kind of I feel the tropicalness. Of anyway, it. they have. This is just one. They have three or four. I haven't downloaded all of it because Pandora plays the fun out of it. Uh, since that's one of my Pandora stations, just mm. not a strum. If you want to hear Moombaton, just put in not a strum and not you'll get all kinds of. Moombaton. I like that in Moombaton. Moombaton. It's Moombaton. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the part that I like. Okay. Just wait for it. it. Makes me want to march in a marching band. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> then do it, Folk O'Brien. Be rich. Be rich. It's the melody. Yeah. They invented an original melody, and I'm you didn't. Did. <laughs> they, this, this person or people, they're rich. Anyway, if I was on shrooms or rolling at a club, I would just love this. I'd be bouncing up and down at this. So. I could see it for a movie soundtrack, too. So this and then, you know, I should just play the John Fruski anti for, uh, for Boca. So you can hear what uh, solo guitarists are doing. I, got, I downloaded a whole album of John Fruski anti. John Fruski anti, he likes to um, take his guitar. I know nothing. I'm just like, mm -hmm. I didn't even know that this guy was doing solo uh, records. The guitar is from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh -huh. he, uh, he puts on a drum machine, grabs his guitar, waits for, waits for a post, and then starts playing stuff that sounds really good. Hello, I'm the guitarist from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I do whatever I want. I do whatever I want. So I just put on my drum machine in the background, and mm -hmm. I'm just gonna stand, sit here, and and then uh, I'm gonna layer. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna play this, and then I'm gonna layer other things over it. Like uh, like Sparky Quano did that one day. He's doing stuff like that. Like here's one guitar layer. I got the drum machine for my bass line. And right, the, now that we lost most of the audience, anyway. Uh, <laughs> but, so there, there's what you got to uh, look forward to. You can blame Alan Michaels. Listen, if he wants you to play dinosaur rock, play the dinosaur rock you like that they didn't play that much. You know, Alan does a really good job of selecting the music that he plays on the She Play. I don't know if he does that. I don't know if he <laughs> does that the rest of the day because he, he programs all the music on, on She's Only Rock and Roll dot com. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know. I mean, well, he's got DJs, too. Like, what's the guy? Corey James. Is that the guy? Corey James. Corey talks? James. I don't. I don't um, know if that's the guy that is on in the afternoon. I heard because with all due respect, Alan, I love you and I love all of our sister stations. So play, but I don't of need to listen to something. a classic rock station. I own it all, and I'm not going to play classic rock because I don't think that. Uh, Isn't like, that what he plays? He plays classic rock, but during the the midday music magnet mag, magnet magnet madness. madness show that we're going to be madness. redoing, I'm not going to be playing classic rock unless it is, as Boca mentioned, something so forgotten and archaic Which that would be, be fun. Like, you know, like I don't like. Does he play? Does he play Hocus Pocus by Focus? Because I just really love I, that song. Speaking of great we instrumental, we can play that here. No, would you consider that? Like, we should play Mocus Focus. Would you consider that an instrumental, even though they yodel? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your what's your uh, what's your Zappa, take on that? You know, Zappa had something to do with that in the small. Did he? Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'll have to wiki that, but uh, he had something to do with the production of that song. I mean, look how many hits they had since then. What, what is this? I'm only playing you, yeah, one track. You... I'm only hearing one track of this. Do, 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 do. Uh -oh. Yeah, we well, should. I'm gonna look for Mocus Pocus because you can find it, right? Mocus Mucus. Yeah, I don't. I'll, I don't have it either. A next break. It's oh, you found it. <laughs> it's scanning. I'll find and that's it. another thing. I want to uh, thank uh, uh, Sneaky Pirate, one of my friends, for giving me his pogo plug. Now I can generate my own cloud. No more slave to these people that want to charge you money for having a cloud over you know ten gigs or something. I can generate my own cloud. Bitches. All my files are available online. Hey, screw those bitches. Good for you. So uh, that takes care of uh, Alan's segment. Alan Michaels segment number one. <laughs> Because <laughs> I, he, we're good there. He and other people. I've I've mentioned this before. Uh, he and other people, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I guess at, at this point, I just I'm just gonna have to say it. Just say uh, it. Although we're up against a break, and, I'm, and I want to keep things in a kind of a timely fashion, because Suds is gonna be showing up around one or something. I I hope, unless he gets into a horrible accident or something. I don't say that. Speaking of Suds, and I just I should probably save the Suds material for when Suds gets here. Is here. He and breakfast. I'm writing this down. Okay. You, uh, the tangent, remind me of the yeah, tangent. I have and a I'm tangent, right down. remind Breakfast. 
What? What happened with breakfast? There we go. And tangent, remind me, ghoul. Ghoul. Tangent. And, and I got the, it. And I then got the ghoul it. thing because. How do you spell ghoul? G H O U L, just like uh, it sounds. An H. The H is silent. Got it. You know, as in Umberto. <laughs> What kind of a person has a name Umberto? Hey, it's a very common name. Why are you Me. hating? It's my middle name. All right, before it we is? take the break, though. Yes. Uh, I have the audio from the inaugural speech that nobody heard. I didn't they hear it. They cut this part out. I didn't hear it. Let's hear it. You didn't hear it? No. Well, I have it right here. I was busy. Here. It's an exclusive for the SoFlo Radio audience. <laughs> Lay it on his dad. Mom. Among my people, we carry many such words as this from many lands, many worlds. Many are equally good and are as well respected. But wherever we have gone, no words <laughs> have said this thing I was of holding on mm -hmm. Is this E-plot mista? In quite this way. <laughs> Look at these three words written larger than the rest with a special pride never written before or ah. since tall words proudly saying, We, the people, we the people. That what you call <gasps> Eid Plebnista was Had a good laugh. For the chiefs of kings, for the warriors, or the rich, or the powerful, but for all the people. We the people. Down the centuries you have slurred the meaning out of the words we the people <laughs> of the United States. In order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide Tranquil? common defense, domestic tranquility? promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty. We, I want to people. break into song when I hear this, you know, from Our Schoolhouse Rock. We, the people. Have you God. heard that? No. We, the people. Establish this constitution, these words, and the words that follow. They must apply to everyone. Ah. They mean <laughs> nothing. Do you understand? Ah. Yes. yes. We, the people. The people. That's that's a nice, nice job. The holy words will be obeyed. <laughs> Is that it? Are we done with that fun? You guys have yeah. too much fun. We have too much fun. It's a, it ought to be illegal in, in some states. It, it is. It ought to be. Twelve twenty two. Soflowradio dot com. If I could get that. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. It's, it's the, yeah. the sluttiest radio sluts online. SoFloRadio.com. We're thugs. Don't miss By the Glass with Brett Hubbard, 6 to 7 every Thursday night on SoFlo. By the Glass. By the Glass is a show about beverage culture. Brad Hubbard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the dots on how every... SoFloRadio.com invites you to call. It's free and it's easy. All you have to do is pick up the phone and dial. 954... Music. Driving on down 
Cause he turned deaf, turning left when they meant to go right With no signal lights and weaving side to side Don't miss By the Glass with Brett Hubbard, 6 to 7 every Thursday night on SoFloRadio.com. By the Glass. By the Glass is a show about beverage culture. Brett Hubbard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the dots on how everything works together. It's really all about how we enjoy things, how we enjoy life, and how beverages play a big part in that. I'm going to bring in people that are going to display their aspect of the culture. I'm going to bring in people that are going to show you different products. We're going to look at places where people go to consume these beverages and how they all interact. Things are built around the actual beverage itself. By the Glass. Thursdays from 6 to 7. Only on SoFlo Radio. Radio.com. Music. Oh, well, that's okay. We're some- ready to come back anyway. It's doing a lot of things. That computer over there is doing a crazy update, and it's just going to blow up. Uh, and if it dies, we'll uh, we'll throw it in a pool. It just no. It just died. Um, yeah. Oh well. I if this is, uh, oh, worthy of a reboot or something. I hear something. Uh, my, why not? Going. Here, I'll turn it down and. Uh, ooh, ooh. I mean, I, I, I don't know if a reboot would. Um, it's locked. Do it. Well, just don't touch it for a second. It's don't frozen. touch. Welcome back to the show. Frozen. I just heard that um, we were feeding uh, video, but not uh, audio. But uh, that's okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. The a show second. starts now. You hear any audio? Oh, I turned it down. There you go. Okay. Now, so it do, was working. Do you want to play Mocus Mucus? Because I was really like, I was all stoked it's for it. It's burping. Let's try it. It's yeah. All it's right. gonna be doing that. Don't uh, restart it. consternation and everything if you notice that there's an open space on the camera area over here this is where suds goes That's we went to a lot of suds. i think uh, this camera angle might be the best one that we've gotten so far this check it where out the rubbing's gonna happen check it out old girl you're looking good look over like like look over here look over there see there who's oh, yeah. that blonde beauty 
There. Oh, are there oh. the cows? Oh, there. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> oh, so that's mouth. fine. Hey, uh, here's the <laughs> yeah, uh, the exciting announcement now that we got the audio worked out. Well, there there have been some uh, audio encoding errors because we went through an encoder overhaul over here, and it's, we're still shaking the bugs out. See there? See what you do? Overhaul. Not good. Um, although you're so cute, I don't even notice. Uh, we are now on <laughs> live three. <laughs> I just got. That. I'm very I'm confused. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yeah, uh, we are now on all major servers. For the people that know or don't know about internet broadcasting, there it's are three, a bell curve. There are three servers. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> curves. So there are three major. Uh, there are three servers. You can be on uh, Shoutcast, Icecast, or Live Three Sixty Five uh, with your internet stream, and then everything else, like if it's an app or like TuneIn Radio or iTunes Radio or something, they have to pick that stream up from. Uh, from the streaming that you do on one of those three servers. As of, I don't know, yesterday, the day before, we finally got all the bugs worked out. Not all of them, I guess, but we're on all those. We're on Live 365, we're on Shoutcast, Icecast, uh, anything. iTunes continues to be a pain in the ass. We just keep resubmitting our th application. But the good news is they have a, uh, a new category now. Boca. Remember, they didn't have a talk category now. They Now they have a news slash talk category on iTunes. Radio. Never heard of that one yeah. before. And that, well, <laughs> these are the Apple people. They live in an ivory tower. Product goes that way. Money comes this way. Don't try to talk to us, you yeah. prole, you peasant, you mortal. You douchebag. Yes. You. We have more money than America. We are beyond all reproach and above every law. Ah! Kind of like me. I'm above every law. Oh, yeah. On account of my godlike status. See? I had to explain the... Oh, yes. The deific picture oh! over here. I can, I can walk on water. I'm trying to get Luis the Artiste to call in. He says, Natalise is a hottie. And Who's I wanted Luis him... Luis the Artiste. Oh, Luis the Artiste is good. the artist responsible for this image oh, and other I think things. he's awesome. He did the cartoons for the sports head that John didn't like. Yes. I that. like those cartoons. I thought they were great. You will be caricaturized at some point. Oh, I, I want to see and that. And since he thinks you're a hottie, it'll be... Oh, it'll you're going to get a fan. It'll be flattering. It'll yeah. be complimentary. Better to me, which was just yeah. a picture frame. He's going to have to get out his... What he did frame. for me, you could buy at Frank's. God. Yeah. That's okay. It was <laughs> worth every penny I paid Don't him. Don't hate exactly. the artist. <laughs> Frank's arts and crafts. That's the thing about <laughs> artists, you know, is that they're going to do, they're going to do their thing and, uh, and nuts to you. I'm trying to... Well, I'm trying to get the the freaking news on over here, just in the background. News. No, 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 mute, oh, mute. No. I don't want the oh, broadcasting tip of the week. It's n repeat after me. Okay. No, new, don't news. New, news. News. Say oh, news. see. Now yeah, let's give her a diploma. Fourteen thousand dollars, please. News. That's right. She don't. You know, she's our don't. That's a little close to home there because she's one of those victims. I am. In case, yeah. Oh, and the other thing is, is <laughs> don't say is. It's. Yes. 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 There's a there's a Y in all of these. You could have given us the fourteen thousand dollars. Yes. Yeah. Except I didn't know you then. Nevertheless, our phone lines are open nine five four ninety nine triple o thirty six Luis, or you can Skype us directly at SoFlow Radio. Just SoFlow Radio. That's our handle over here. It is a live show, and I just don't want to talk about Alan all day long. When Sud shows up, we're going to be talking about guns. The prize buyer hasn't. Quite. So here, the exciting announcement. I did the exciting announcement. We're on all streaming platforms. Yay. You Apple heads that only listen to radio with your iTunes account, you're doing it wrong, and you should be listening with radio loyalty. You'll notice the big banner on the top of our page. Mm -hmm. That's the radio loyalty page. Uh, please sign up and listen to not just us, but every radio station that you like with radio loyalty. And if you're the station that you like isn't on radio loyalty, tell me. Don't tell radio <laughs> loyalty. <laughs> Tell me, I'll handle it because I'm in the process. I'm going to create radio loyalty stations for everything that I want to listen to. Radio loyalty is going to be my radio player of choice because I listen to the radio. And finally, somebody has come up with a great idea. Remember the whole buying the audience concept from mm -hmm. ages ago? Mm -hmm. Here's a uh, an old concept made new again and done right. They're going to pay you to use their player. Radio Loyalty is the only radio player, and we've, we're on all of them. You've got Receiva, TuneIn, Spark Radio, Wonder Radio, uh, uh, Stitcher. Lewis likes to talk about Stitcher all the time. <laughs> all these radio players, people have already made their decisions for radio players based on, I don't know what, Voodoo yeah. Magic. Yeah, well, loyalty is a, a new one. You go to your here. iTunes, like, do I have an iPhone? You have an iPhone? No, you have that thing. Uh, you I have, have radio thing. players? Do you have ra a radio player that you use to listen to radio stations from around the world or, or internet radio stations like ours? Many people have already made a radio player decision. I suggest 
using the radio loyalty player, create an account. It's free. Do you and have that, an app? It's, it's better than free. They pay you. They pay. What? Yes, it's not. Really? You accumulate points. Allow me to. Sh- well, I, I closed my browser. Uh, you accumulate points. It's like green stamps. All right. The exchange rate is horrendous, as you might imagine. Uh huh. But it's like green stamps. You accumulate points just by using their player, whether you use it uh, uh, with your PC or your computer, your desktop, or uh, their app on the phone. These people are geniuses. Mm -hmm. Advertisers pay people money to show their ads on their radio players. Somebody has come up with a brilliant idea, radio loyalty, to take a portion of that money and actually pay people to use the player so that the ads will be seen. And not heard. Uh, Right. (laughs) Well, well no, it? actually, they'll they'll pay you to run their spots too. So, which I'm hoping. I, I have no idea what uh, that is, but I'm using radio loyalty. I'm this is a unsolicited endorsement. I'm using radio loyalty as a radio player because I'm I'm already up to like eleven thousand points. I've only been using it for a week. That'll buy me nothing. <laughs> okay, it's like green stamps. Remember the okay. green stamps from the olden days, Boca? You had to have several books, but you could go into the green stamp store and actually walk out with something of value. What was wrong with that idea? Nothing. Exactly. Nothing was wrong with that idea. It's free stuff, right? It's like cash oh. back on your credit card. Yeah, it takes a long time to accumulate it, but, but there's nothing, and then there's better than nothing. Radio this loyalty is, is better than nothing. All of the other radio players, they're showing, they're scrolling ads all the time, and they're paying you nothing. Radio loyalty actually gives you a piece of the action. All right, I just, don't lo- I just downloaded the app. Let's see if I like it. And, I'll let you know And listen to us. Week. Well, here's what I don't like about radio loyalty, and I'm going to write them an email. I'm going to write them an email with my finger up in the air and say, now see here. <laughs> I'm going to channel the spirit of Mo Howard David. Uh-huh. They insist on streaming at uh, 128. All of their content is at 128. Buffering problem, people. Have you not? Even on Wi-Fi, we encounter a buffering problem. We here on SoFloRadio.com, uh, uh, we, we stream at 64K. There's a nice compromise, file size and, and uh, audio quality and mm-hmm. the whole buffering concept. Buffering. Yeah. Buffering. Because Buffering. you want to be able to drive around. I do. I listen uh, to this, us, in the car, and other things using radio players as I'm driving around. Once you, I mean, even 64K, if you're on the, the Edge network or on 3G, you'll get a little bit of buffering. 4G, no problem. You're fine. Typically. Unless you go above that, unless you go to 128. And I know that people, like radio loyalty, like a lot of these um, radio players, they envision that most internet broadcasting is music oriented and probably mm-hmm. that is true nevertheless not all of it is and even music if you're listening to music i mean 64k is just fine it's just fine for music that's streaming over your phone i'll tell you what i would rather have the diminished quality of a 64k stream coming out of my car speakers than a, a song that keeps it getting interrupted every few minutes like uh like as if i'm listening to an eight track tape you know all of a sudden here i'm i'm jamming out to my favorite song you know maybe i'm i'm b- bouncing along to some moombaton thinking about how much book brian hates it and then all of a sudden it stops and then it stops and i'm like ah curses it's boca no yeah. fade first no it just you, you've seen the little little scroll fade. bar yeah in the middle it's not smart song. no the eight tracks god almighty what a <laughs> what a, what a horrendous song, idea yeah. So the Allen thing, while well, we still got a couple minutes before the next break, that may or may not work. Wait, there's a tangent. This is I'm getting to the tangent. Okay. This is the pre-tangent. Reminding the you. Ghoul, this is the ghoul tangent. Okay. Because I need a whole segment to do the other thing. Well, it says this here. We can talk about Sven Gooley. Okay. okay. <laughs> and, and, and Wooly Gooley. It's actually okay. a pretty funny show. Alan and the the con and you not not the least in some of yes. the yard. I don't know. I don't remember exactly how much of this it's conversation got onto the air. Okay. One. The one about the website that Alan registered. Oh, don't talk about it. Oh yeah, we we talked about twenty kids dot com or something, and I was making fun of it, saying twenty dead kids dot com or twenty. Yeah. Alan got the idea that he thought was good, and he still. <coughs> excuse me, it still doesn't matter how many times you try to explain something to Alan; he doesn't mm-hmm. care. He got the idea, uh, like the Neil Rogers tribute. I registered twenty kids dot com. You go and you light a candle. 20deadkids.com. It's not 20 dead kids, but that's what I was calling yeah. it because I thought it was very ghoulish. Immediately. He is a ghoul. It's, he is a ghoul. I concur. He's my ghoul friend. <laughs> I concur. Anybody, to capitalize yeah. on that at all. I all mean, right. actually, that was like... Well, that's just <laughs> it. Here's the argument back and forth. Thank you because... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's for charity. And I said, yeah. Alan, His I'm charity. a very, very busy man. His charity. I'm a busy His man. No, charity. see, here's, here's what he didn't understand. Either way, and this is what I, I couldn't get him to wrap his head around this concept. Mm-hmm. Alan, I'm busy. Life is made out of time. I wake up in the morning. I have to work 
all day long. I have to get through a whole bunch of activities just to keep everything going, just to keep my head above water. I don't have time for charities. Well, what if you said that you donated 90% of the proceeds, you kept 10%? Then we're making money off of the dead kids. It's not charity. Well, then what if you gave it all to charity? Then I'm wasting my time. Well, what if you gave them a percentage? Then we're making money off the dead kids. Well, what if you gave it... Alan! <laughs> I'm not going to do it for money, and I'm not going to do it for free. So what does that leave, Alan? Do some math. Okay, okay, okay. But what if... Oh, don't you dare say 20 kids again, Alan. Don't you dare say... What if... Don't you start the next sentence with what this actually happened. I'm not... I shit you not. I'm embellishing nothing. He sat right over there where Boca is. And I said, well, what if... And I said, Alan, don't say what if again. Drop it. I'm not going to do it for money and I'm not going to do it for every... Char- don't say the word charity to me ever again. And by, by the way, that goes to everyone. 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 Everyone out there. He must have read that article. Don't go. And, and so I had to explain. Listening? Well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong? I said, it's ghoulish. I don't understand why no, it's NRA Alan, thinks it's great. They made a million so dollars. I had to explain. Yeah. And tell me. Right. Well, we'll talk about the NRA later. Tell me if you disagree with this, this concept because I had to explain ghoulishness to Alan. All right? Okay. Alan, here's why it's ghoulish. Let me explain what a ghoul is. A ghoul is something that's is someone who is turned on, excited, or attracted to dead things and dead people. I'm not attracted to uh, 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 Alan. Children died, okay? Now, now the normal social reaction to a dead thing is to turn your back and move away from it. Dead carcasses smell bad. There are things that are attracted. There are things that are attracted to the dead body. Maggots, magpies, ravens, crows, vultures. All of these are negative images. When someone calls you a vulture, that's an insult. When someone calls you a ghoul, that's an insult. When people slow down to see a traffic accident, that's ghoulish behavior. They're looking to see injury and death, maybe a head and maybe a severed arm or something. Alan, Hmm. it's cool. (laughs) Alan, something dies. You turn your back. You move. You distance yourself from it. You don't associate yourself with it. If anyone has any right or rationale to associate themselves with these 20 dead kids, it's the parents or the family members. Mm -hmm. If they want to, say, capitalize or otherwise gain attention by their such, well, what if we took the website and auctioned it off and gave the money to charity? Ah! What if you shit can the whole idea all together? Don't tell me. (laughs) Yeah. And Alan, he still doesn't understand what ghoulishness is. Alan, here it is. Let me draw you a picture. Mm -hmm. Something dies. You don't talk about it. You don't mention it. You don't move towards it. You don't do tribute to it. It's ghoulish. There is absolutely no man, woman, or child on the planet, even kicked in the head by mule sterno junkies, who are going to believe that if you do, if you associate yourself with this tragedy, mm-hmm. no matter how you put it, no matter what you do, people are going to say you're profiting, you're capitalizing, you're trying to gain attention by associating yourself with this. That's what the people will say. Well, yeah, that's... But no just, matter what you do. But it's mostly because it's a tragedy. All, the whole ghoulish thing about, like, death, you turned away, all that stuff, that's cultural. Like, what about right. El Dia de los Muertos? Sure, but that's, cultural, but that's cultural, but that's not... You know not, what I mean? Right. They, they revere they're, their dead. Yeah, they're, like... They're party. They're right. putting their stuff up. They're, and, they're dressing up mannequins and the dead guy's clothes. they got clothes. that cool skull art. Yeah. Skully and art. And it's all about the death thing. Sure. You know? And so it's their it's way really, of dealing. That's good. Yeah. That's actually a good it's way of, of taking the, the, the power away, the fear away. That's mm-hmm. a great So concept. I understand why Alan was wrong about, you know, the He's kids and the tragedy and la, 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 la. But... I, He's, my feelings he, are mixed let, on the let whole. Me, let me tell you something about cool. Alan. He does not have good intentions. <laughs> I, I've heard. Ever. So I've heard. It has not, he doesn't know what a good intention is. He doesn't know. He's, he's really kind of a sociopath because he still doesn't understand why this was ghoulish. He doesn't know right from wrong. He doesn't mm-hmm. know good from bad. It's, but he, he it's just whatever. saw. He just, he's an opportunist. He's a pure opportunist very much like a vulture he's going to be drawn to if he sees a crowd gathering somewhere (laughs) he wants to jump in the middle of it and hawk his wares i see so there on that note and then when we come back we can do the other uh the tangent which is not just for alan but for a a lot of other people i've i've done it before i'm gonna have to do it again uh (laughs) thank you stewie (laughs) <laughs> the, the delay. <laughs> ready? I hope we're ready for that break. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that tangent that I've been putting off coming up next. I'll start with the Nicole Sandler Show, weekday mornings at 10 on the South Florida Radio Network. Did you know corn is bad for you? Scientific studies have shown the human body does not digest corn kernels properly, which can cause unsightly discomfort. <laughs> 
Longer, firmer, and fully packed with flavor. SoFloRadio.com When you're ready to actually lose weight safely and steadily while being monitored by a physician, the weight loss clinic of Dr. Kim Jacobson is there for you. The family medicine practice was established by her father in 1956 and continues as a medical practice that now specializes in weight reduction. Dr. Kim Jacobson joined the practice 20 years ago as both a family medicine practitioner and weight loss specialist. The weight loss clinic utilizes a combination of appetite suppression medication and vitamins to produce great results, usually three to four pounds per week for most patients. Now you can change your lifestyle while still enjoying your own food, just less of it. They offer a choice of two, three, or four week plans. So whether you just need to lose a few pounds or a lot, the weight loss clinic of Dr. Kim Jacobson can help you. They're located at 5454 Northeast 4th Avenue in Miami, just two blocks west of 54th Street and Biscayne Boulevard. Call them at 305-751-0091. They'll be happy to answer any and all of your questions. That's 305-751-0091. Get started on a beautiful new body today with Dr. Kim Jacobson and the weight loss clinic. SoFloRadio.com. Give us a call at 954-99000. Did you know corn is bad for you? Scientific studies have shown the human body does not digest corn kernels properly, which can cause unsightly discomfort. Until now! Finally, the good folks at Whippy Fart have developed corn kernels you can really enjoy. Celebrity Poop Corn. Poop Corn is easy to digest because it already has. Only the finest, plumpest kernels are carefully hand-picked, rinsed, and harvested from famous celebrities like Madonna, Dennis Franz, and Jack Palance. They say your family's going to love to eat Celebrity Poop Corn. Now with red pepper seasoning. W-A-B-C. I had a problem that I couldn't talk about I guess I was too ashamed I was boiled by a moil who took way too much off I've given him the blame And after a lifetime of rejection and dejection I had to find a better way So I went in for a direction injection And now everything is okay That's my boner Longer than an Amtrak train That's my boner Take another look at my what I got That's my boner Get me in the carpool lane That's my boner Things are coming up to buy new pants with an expanding fly I'd rather do that than stay hung like a gnat no need to wonder why found a new direction and I'm making an impression feel like a brand new guy when I swing it around and lock it down on the table if it had wings it could fly I have a fan club, and um, yeah, there's a hierarchy within the fan. Really? Didn't you, you know, not that Lisa's new to town, so she doesn't know how famous I used to be, <laughs> and now I do this. And now, <laughs> welcome, now welcome to SoFlo Radio, ladies and gentlemen, the George Rodriguez Show, featuring the beautiful Boca Brian, the, uh, you know, okay looking, not so, 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 and then so, of course, so. the luscious Suds Coleman will be in uh, shortly. Over here. Let me adjust into, uh, you shifted position over here. A Just for bit. a moment, I'm, I yeah, don't want to smoke. Uh, I think you. Yeah. That's very I'm going to move the camera. Oh man, my phone is all <laughs> vibrating and everything. Probably just a uh, a bill collector. There's a camera shot. We're on top of each other, yeah, which yeah. I, I really don't mind. <laughs> just I fine. don't think you'd mind the cigarette. So I'm over. Yes, thank I'll, you very uh, much. I'll adjust uh, the camera appropriately or uh, inappropriately, as the case may be. It all depends. Nine five four ninety nine triple o thirty six. 
the that's George, what June Allison said. Yeah, really? oh, sorry. Depends. Old jokes. Old yeah, jokes. Sorry. That's a uh, for years since um, I've been talking about uh, hanging out with Boca. That's one of the. That's a. That's a. A Bocaism is uh, cracking old jokes on the air. But more importantly, like you should really go to a restaurant. Uh huh. And uh, so that you can enjoy the whole cracking jokes that nobody gets, especially the waitress. The waitress. Oh, it's the, or yeah. Speaking of cracking, when I used your uh, mm-hmm. windows to the world bathroom, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I did stick my ass out the window. How'd that go? I'm sure the neighbors uh, love that. And it, wouldn't, and it wouldn't be the first time. The, By the way, the police sirens stopped. Oh, good. The, uh, <laughs> from in between, just so you know, at this, at this time of year, in between um, 1030 and noon, those are uh, tan on the can times. If what? you would like to, oh. you just open up the shades, oh, and yeah. when you you nice just sit sun. on the can and get a tan. So oh. mm-hmm. you know you don't have to go to Hallover, okay, to to get a tan. The Hallover Beach on the area. You know that old expression where the sun don't shine. That doesn't apply to my bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> the sun shines in your bathroom. The sun bathroom. shines <laughs> on everything in my bathroom. <laughs> yeah, well, you could, you bathroom. could actually tan your balls. Like what do you Oliver. mean? What do you mean I could? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let me, let what me you show mean? you something. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you some roasted, <laughs> roasted nuts. <laughs> let me show you. They used to be walnuts, Chuck, but now they're Brazil nuts. Caramel balls. <laughs> they're cocoa nuts because I put cocoa butter on them. Beautiful. <laughs> the, only, the, only bathroom, the only bathroom in town. Mm-hmm. I have. I have toilet paper, moist wipes, and sunscreen. <laughs> All together, right next to each other. This is true. <laughs> next to the toilet. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> People are going to be lining up outside. It's like, hey, I want to get a tan on the can. Hey, I should you charge should money. start charging, yeah. I should tra- start charging. And it's that natural, brings me all to my organic. tangent. Thank you for a wonderful... That's, that's segue. called a segue. Natalise. I got you, Bo. Thank you for a wonderful segue into the tangent I was going to take. Which, I've mentioned it before, and now I think I might actually have to start charging my male acquaintances because I've only got a couple of male friends. Uh-huh. Oh, oh. Definition of the word friend. And... My male friends have already hooked up thanks to their association with me, and they cannot deny that. Like, call them up and say, mm-hmm. you have what you got because of me, right? And they have to say, yes, yes, right, thank you. So I've often joked about, uh, I would say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to charge a cover charge for the dudes that want to hang around me. Yeah. Alan is one of those dudes. And I've been making fun of that. I mean, uh-huh. uh, um you know, uh, playing around, with, playing the around with that concept before, mm-hmm. but now I think I'm going to have to because it, it, it has happened. What happened? It has occurred that Tell now me. male acquaintances are are seeking out my company and Just otherwise so. hanging around more than I would normally hang out with them. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and it's all very insincere because I know they're not hanging out with me because they like me. They mm-hmm. do. They like me fine, but they wouldn't be hanging out as long as they are if not for the fact that they know that at some point some bitch is going to be showing up and they want to mash on them. Mm-hmm. And this is the problem that I'm having. Alan. For example, and I am I am blessed. Thank you, Vinny the Pimp, whose birthday party I was just at recently. That's Vinny the, the Pimp. Vinny the Pimp is his nickname, okay. and I'm passed out on his couch or anything because Vinny the Pimp is another individual, not unlike myself, who travels with a swarm of women. I saw the picture. He introduced me to his swarm, Okay. and our swarms <laughs> combined, and now we have a horde. So you guys are like pack leaders. No, see, here's the thing about Vinny the Pimp and myself. We're uh-huh. just nice guys, a combination of nice guy and gentleman. Gentleman implies a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vinny the Pimp and I, I, I like to fancy myself a true gentleman, a cigarette lighting, door opening I see. kind of person. And not just that, but in my, in my case, since I don't talk the sports, since I don't watch the sports mm-hmm. and talk the sports and everything, I, and it, just a lot of factors involved, raised by my sister and her teenage friends, helping my <laughs> sister raise her daughters, uh, uh, being you know parent number three, Mr. Mom, driving my sister's children around and their children and just hanging out with all the moms. And then my wife created a mom's club so that she wouldn't have to hang around with children. So great. That, uh, so I hang out. I have a lot of female friends, mom friends and everything. Mm-hmm. And then Vinny the Pimp, for his own reasons, just because he's so damn cool. Okay. Uh, so sophisticated and he knows his way around wine and everything. He also happens to be friends with a lot of, of women. And Chicas. And I want to thank him for the invitation to the birthday party and the other events that he invites me to. And the fact that he introduced me to what is my primary party posse. The okay. three P's. Or as I call them, the pipe hit niggas. The hardcore ah, pipe hit niggas. Pipe hit niggas. From <laughs> Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Thank you. Just in case the audience didn't hear it the first time, Natalisa's here to 
<laughs> repeat it. I'm here to repeat it. <laughs> That's the magic word Republicans try so hard not to say. It's okay. They come up with every other word. You know, careful because you don't want a nickname. I know you do want a nickname, but you don't want it to be Echo. I'm so, just gonna stop talking. Don't then. stop talking. So anyway, so for my real, uh, and people they see the pictures on Facebook, and this is what happens because I am so very blessed. And the women that you see pictured with me on Facebook are friends, wonderful, wonderful people, friends, as opposed to the male acquaintances. I have male friends, like for example, Vinny the Pimp, a friend. He's a good friend. He's a he's a good friend. A real friend. A genuine Authentic. friend. Authentic. And I could count the male friends that I have on one hand, but they're all like, like Oedipus. People have heard me talk about my male friends over the years at great length. Dudley do right. Oedipus Rex, Vinny, the pimp, sneaky pirate, who I just mentioned earlier, who owes his wife to me, uh, <laughs> just got married in Key West. And it's, mm-hmm. it was my doing Ugh, weddings. How depressing. I was like, God, I'm going to, you know what? Next time I go to a wedding, I'm handing out barf bags. What a sickening. I believe. Ugh, the opposite of romance. Weddings are cute. It's the funeral for your romantic life. <laughs> Burlap. So you say. Anywho, I do say over mm-hmm. and over again. So I'm blessed. This isn't bragging. This is me thanking the cosmos and, uh, and just <laughs> expressing universe. my appreciation for the wonderful people that I have in my life, the, the the close, wonderful friends that I have in my life who happen to be females. And they're friends. And I don't want to use the word just friends because that sounds like it's a diminished thing or a diminishment, like just friends. Like the, people use the word just in front mm-hmm. of another word to mean something less. Like, like I understand. You ask your friend for some food. Say, I'm hungry. You got anything to eat? And they say, I got some chips. And you say, just chips? That's it? No salsa? Just Seriously. chips? So when somebody says just friends, it means like, really, that's all? That, I'm not disappointed, maybe a little bit. A little bit. Because some of the female friends that I have are just gorgeous. And by some of them, I mean like all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, amazing. Uh, so, but that's okay. Because <laughs> my friendship means much more to me than a notch in my gun. Okay. Got lots of notches. I wouldn't trade a single friendship for an extra notch. Because the friendships that I mm-hmm. have with my female friends are wonderful and they're supportive and they're wonderful. I have a lot of moms. I, I just, I, I love them. Thank you for all, you know, to all of the female friends that I have in my life. Thank you for letting me hang with you. If you look on my Facebook there, um, there's a wonderful picture of, uh, of me with some female friends on my birthday. My female friends mm-hmm. allowed me to hang. That was my birthday present from them. Is <laughs> they allowed me to be seen with them publicly. Oh, wow. Which, that's huge. It's so nice. Talk of them. about increasing my real estate value. That is so nice. It's of them. incredibly I'm nice of them because you. normally they wouldn't be caught dead with a you know with a troll. You, you've got some real like friends. Me. I, they're, they're you've wonderful. got some legit friends. So, but it's creating Definitely. a little bit of a chain reaction effect, uh, not just because of the Facebook things, but the the studio over here. Now that I'm here all all day long working and everything, it's it's always been it's the studio. I've had this place for a long time, and it, it was mm-hmm. a a clubhouse for my friends and I long before it was a radio studio. It became a radio studio because it was storage, excess storage, computers, computer graveyard, me and my friends, uh, electronic stuff, loose wires, things that I couldn't fit in my closet at home wound up over here in the clubhouse. So all the ingredients were already kind of already over here. But now that I'm here all day long doing work and programming and coders and things, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's become a little bit of a lounge, a little bit of a pit stop, a little bit of a way station for the people because we're in Hollywood, conveniently located. (laughs) So... Uh, between the pictures that are seen on Facebook and Uh the activity here, my male acquaintances have decided that hanging out with George would be a great way to meet chicks. Hmm. And and they say things like, hey, George, they'll see pictures on Facebook, and it's not just Alan, but i got a couple other people that I'm speaking about specifically, and they don't listen to the show. I'm not going to name their names, but there are a couple people. And every time, it's like that's all they say. Every time that they see something posted on Facebook. What do they say? Or they hear me talking, they go, hey, George, when am I going to get a phone call invited me the next time you go along look at George I just saw a picture of you on Facebook with three women Uh uh-huh why didn't you call me (laughs) now do we have do I even have to answer that do we just play that the logic of that out you can't handle three women What's that? (laughs) Well there's there's so many we could just we could just sit here right exactly (laughs) we could just sit here and go Point by point over stupid answers to stupid questions. Like, why mm-hmm. didn't I invite you? I said, because the penis quota was full. 
Uh, <laughs> there was absolutely as much penis in that room as I wanted there to be. <laughs> Which okay? was? Why on earth would I invite more penis to a social event? Huh, let's think that through for a second, uh, person. Jim, Bill, person, whoever you are. Think that through. I'm in a room full of women. I know what this room needs. Sausage. <laughs> Way more sausage. I'm going to start calling my dude friends so that they can come over here and start hitting on my female friends. And I say this. I say, you know, I have the female friends that I have. I have because, among other things, I don't inflict my male friends on them. Mm -hmm. I don't use my friendship with them to hook up my dude friends. Like, why on earth? How does that benefit me at all? Why on earth would I do that? I am not going to hit on them. And like, well, then why did you just say what you just said? Or why do you want to be there? Why do you want to be there? You don't even know anything about these women. They could be devil. <laughs> they could be, uh, what is it? Uh, man hating wicked women. Ooh. <laughs> it, won't, it won't play. It's playing. I'm hearing it. I hear it, yeah. Well, we're having all kinds of technical difficulties. Oh, but the no. good news is, did uh, we just freeze uh, up? I played a drop and it took me into it a bit. I don't like guys. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Nice. Weird things play are the happening, tag. ladies and gentlemen. That's okay. Just that kind so, of thing. So, I don't like guys. As we're, as okay. we're getting uh, into we the go. break. <laughs> Thank you. Is that you know? I can't find you, Mungus penis. <laughs> Did you look there between your legs? <laughs> <laughs> I mean the file. Oh, where's the rim shot? That was called a setup and a okay. delivery. You see, mm -hmm. setup and spike in the comedy business, not the least. Okay. In case you didn't know, Boca has a humongous penis. I heard you told me once. That's why I don't yeah. own a gun. <laughs> you don't need one. Oh, we'll get into that. You're not, you're not going to accomplish your goals with that kind of rhetoric, Mom. But nevertheless, do I, have to, do I have to explain further the whole thing? I do not have the friendships that I have mm -hmm. with, with, with females in order to uh, hook them up. I'm not in the business of pimping for anyone. I am not mm -hmm. interested in helping my fellow man get laid. Mm -hmm. You got your sports. You got your strippers. Go be have, happy. Have fun with that because I'm not into either of that. I'm going to be sitting over here where the women are, holding the yarn, talking about chunky periods, okay? That's what I'm going to be doing. Y'all have fun at the football game and then go to the strip clubs afterwards. We're going to be over here talking about feminine hygiene products, okay? Leave me <laughs> alone. Leave me and the bitches alone. We're doing fine. If you want to get laid, go somewhere else, do not mill about me and, and stop asking me to call you like I need a wingman. First of all, like what? Why? What is the logic of that? I, if I need a wing person, it's going to be a wing woman because nothing mm -hmm. makes you look better to chicks than chicks. This is true. It's like, oh, that's like, it's like a duck decoy. Hello. It's like, why do, the, why do the duck hunters put the decoys out there to make it look like it's okay to the other ducks? To make it, yeah, Okay, warm. so I don't comforting you, you know i don't need one of my lecherous male acquaintances suds hanging <laughs> out with me with like like a freaking tiger like a jaguar in a tree waiting to leap down on one of my female friends i tell you that it wouldn't be my female friends long if every time they came around some dude was hanging like a ninja from the ceiling waiting to pounce down on them that's true so there you go guys people that are out there you know who alan and people that <laughs> Oh, George, I saw a picture of you. How come am I? How come? Well, first of all, Alan, you're a little <laughs> troll. Why wouldn't I introduce you to any of these women? Because you're a troll. You're a, you're a gnome. And you reek. You reek. You sweat cigarette tar. It, you reek. You touch yeah. things, and it smells of cigarette. Yes. I have to Febreze everything after you've been in the studio. Suds Coleman is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. If the uh, uh -huh. computer over there works, uh, we'll be back with the Spick and Sud Show. 104, SoFloRadio.com. It's the one to do hour. If it wasn't for Suds, there'd be no show. There'd be no show. There'd be no show. If it wasn't for Suds, there'd be no show. No show. No show. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about my younger days when my health was good, but my mom. And then what happened? I heard you click something. You froze it up. I heard you click something. Ah, dear. I'm going to tell you about my younger days when my health was good, but my mind was crazed by chemical interactions in my brain. 
Yes, I got high, you know it's true, but what I'm gonna relate to you will keep you just like me from going insane. Cause you know beer is good for you. Beer is good for you. Beer is good for you. Yes, it's true. Beer is good for you. Yeah, keep off crack, speed, smoke, you'll just get dumber with every toke. Rocks in your head, no wonder it's called stone. Your heart beats fast, eyes red as hell, the monkey just gets bigger till your money blunt. good for you. Dope carnivals inside your head can turn into freak shows instead. Face every imagined horror known to you. Beautiful and exotic, paranoid and psychotic. There's nothing left but sawdust when it's through. <laughs> hey, don't feel bad and don't feel blue about all this jive I'm laying on you. I'm just trying to make a point and make it clear. No, don't get angry, don't lose hope Just because you can't use dope You can always make a real good case of beer Cause you know beer is good for you Beer is good for you Beer is good for you Yes, it's true you got a point. Beer is good for you 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 Beer's to you uh, Beer is good for you I'm Dark playing with my nose honey. Where this way I got fed up with my girlfriend She was too Jewish, I guess Always refusing to swallow And spitting out a big mess So I went down to a sex shop And bought a special party mix A very funky flavored oil That you pour over your dick It's called a penis colada with a delightful taste That makes him want it by the mouthful And lick the splatter off their face I keep an extra bottle on me It only lasts for a while So when I'm working or I'm shopping I leave it on all the time Now I have all the women flocking Even a couple of guys and when they shamelessly approach me They always tell me with a smile I want some penis colada In my mouth and on my face I'll do you now if you wanna Pour over at my place Not tootie, fruity or patchouli now They leave an aftertaste I just want penis colada and snarl between your legs.
I think th this is the part where we come back. Drive home with us today and listen and have your say. Ah. And then it just oh, clicked. Oh. Ah. There it goes. Hey, Boca, I heard you clicking show. it. You can't blame me. You can't I'm blame totally blaming you for that. You did it from the other room, you bastard. Watch it come back on now. Oh, At man. some point, that computer will uh, will catch up to all the updating that it's doing, and the uh, you, you'd think that starting the uh, the whole big update at eleven o'clock last night would have done it. Mm. Uh, overhauling all these files and folders. Did you turn your microphone off? The switches underneath. If you'd like to fiddle with things, underneath. I got it. There it's you go. On now. Can you hear me? I can. We can hear you now. Can you hear me now? Natalie Jimenez Diaz from the República Dominicana, actually from New York, but. If you say that you're from the DR, it sounds a little bit more exotic. I'm from everywhere, yeah. okay? There you go. She's generic. She's a generic. No, she's, that, like was, she's from I Trinidad. Was made in China. She's from Trinidad. <laughs> Trinidad. Where does, where's well, the label? Where is your stamp made in China? Say your ass. I can't show you. Okay. <laughs> of course <laughs> not. Dosi Crespo. I hope you're all enjoying my, uh, as a matter of fact, it was, uh, I want to thank um, Fangirl for the, the coffee cup. And then, uh, super cute. And then, um, see, has like my and the coffee. There was coffee stuffed oh, in my. it. Mm -hmm. well, I thought you said super cute. And now I have a set of. Four. I used to work for a radio station that was ninety six super cute. Ugh. Thank you, thank you, Jeet, for the uh, set of three more. So now I have a set of four. Thank Everybody you. got. They, they grow some names. coffee in the uh, dr, don't they? They what? Grow yeah. coffee there. Of course, and yeah. tobacco. Lots it's of pretty it. good. I had some uh, Sumatra coffee this morning. Mm. Like it's it nice and black and just mm. like it's just crawling out of the cup. I do you like know? the, uh, you know, uh, by the glass show that you should be listening to Thursday at six o'clock. We had a mm -hmm. special remote Wednesday from Laser Wolf. <laughs> do we have a sound effect for that? Do we have a laser sound effect. What's Laser well, Wolf? It's, it well, a, it's not a it's not a character from Fiddler on the Roof. Is it one of those laser? Uh, you would like it. Are, do you still drink beer at all, sons? It's a wolf. Uh, you ask hold me it around seven o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> well, you would like this place. Just not right now. It's a craft beer bar in Fort Lauderdale, and okay. it's really cool. And I forget the address, but just you know, you got the Google. Don't use Google. Uh, don't use Apple Maps anymore. By the way, did it's you notice that? No. Yeah, they're gone. Use Google Maps. Mm -hmm. But you know, just a really wonderful, nice craft beer bar. A whole lot of craft beers on tap. Okay. Why don't they have that kind of thing for coffee, or do they? With all of the different kinds of exotic coffees and Starbucks, eh, no, you know, no, they, Starbucks doesn't count. I, I'm sorry. And Dunkin' Donuts and everything, you know. With all due respect, I like y'all's coffee, but I want to go to a, a coffee house that has all these different bizarre coffees. Like, for example, we're enjoying mm -hmm. some hazelnut coffee today. Which is delicious. Even even black, is it not? Yeah, yeah, I like it like this. I, I've been putting things in it, and it's always weird. So I was like, today I'm gonna have it black, and it's actually my favorite. Because it's it's good. You can actually mm -hmm. see the hazelnut oil. <laughs> oh, floating around man. in it. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. like things with a nice slick on them. You know, yeah. I like bologna, you know. I like bologna when it gets that, that kind of a rainbow sheen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. And, and to answer so your question, ladies and gentlemen. You know, uh, uh, Natalie. Natalie, yes. Natalie. Got to, uh, bought my phone since I last saw her. Not I my got phone, your but the, phone. But the phone I wanted. Yes. I got the Galaxy and, uh, S3. No, I I had a. Huh? Let me I see. like it. I think it was uh, all total like six hundred and twenty-five dollars in vet bills. And oh, so I have bills? renamed my cat Samsung Galaxy Three. Oh. <laughs> You've got the, the fat battery. I I do have the fat battery. Hey, Boca, turn your mic on there, would you? I usually yeah, tell people it it's not a fat battery. It's oh. just really full of a lot of babe pictures. <laughs> that's that's well, what's I'm going ready on. for you today. So, uh, now, how, how far did that set you back on the battery, Chris? When I, uh, do I get think it was phone. like twenty eight dollars. For twenty eight dollars, they uh, send you the battery, a new back for the case. Wow! Oh yeah, and, of course. Uh, the whole deal. That's yeah. not bad. No, I had no. Even and I got twenty eight dollars. Well worth it. You know, I can go hmm. almost a day, just like that guy. Uh, what's his, what's the guy on twenty four, Jack? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't watch twenty four. His phone lasts twenty four hours. I'll oh, bet. Really? <laughs> you know, I never I was, saw him run out of me, 24 is, you know, it's terrorism, schmerism. Uh, people been, as a matter of fact, not the least one of these people, uh, Homeland, Heartland, something land. Homeland. The you show? Gotta watch it, you got to watch Homeland. that. So yeah. I downloaded so season yeah. number one. I put it on a thunder. I took it over to my daughters. Uh, we're all, yeah, we both heard amazing things about it. We're watching it. We're 10, 15 minutes into it. We're looking at each other, looking at the TV, looking at each other, looking at the TV. And thank yeah. God she's the one that broke the silence. She goes, Dad. War on terror stuff. 
And I go, are you thinking the same thing? And he's like, I don't care. I don't want anymore. But did, but did you at least right, get to the get part, get part where she, she scrubbed her uh, twice yes, with the... Yes, yes. I knew I you would that. like that. Uh, the, the, the swabbing. I called it the swabbing. <laughs> That was awesome. I, I love that. I think that's girls. why it won all those awards. I, <laughs> Just because of that it scene. It was an award yeah. for me. Thank you so much. Her and Chelsea Handler. <laughs> oh, Chelsea Handler. <laughs> yeah, they, they are big proponents on the cooch swab. <laughs> the cooch swab. Oh. Thank God. You know, for the sake of those women, I want to make a special chair. I think I'll for call, that, it, he likes I'll call the it the now. bidet. No, I like the that bidet. part of the show. <laughs> I'm going to invent. <laughs> it's worth the wait each week. That was awesome, man. She gave herself a French bath. <laughs> she did. Uh, <laughs> You're right, though. The rest of the show is sucked. But right that part wing there. propaganda. Whoa, whoa, war on terror yeah. stuff is supposed to. Woo! Terrorists! Mm. Terrorists are coming to get you. Give up all your freedoms. Patriot Act good. Terrorists are coming to get you. I don't give a flying fuck about terrorists. They don't scare me. Fuck you. And I also don't give a flying fuck about Benghazi. Okay. Good golly, Benghazi. Good, Good segue. Benghazi <laughs> flu. Benghazi flu. Thank you, Nolis. <laughs> Benghazi flu and Hillary, and they're giving her a hard time. You know, these people, these right-wingers, they're uh -huh. only ever going to do what they do. It doesn't matter what anybody else does that isn't part of their ilk and part of their agenda. Mm -hmm. The people left of center, as far as those people are concerned, will never, ever do anything right. Obama can deliver a million dollars in cash to every working class American's homes, and they're still going to be popping up the, 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 their, their bush can going, oh, that nigger just wants to take my gun away. They're never going to do It's not nigger. It's socialist. It's yeah, uh, I, secret it's Muslim. Like a Mexican hat dance yes. around that, but that's what yeah. they're thinking. <laughs> That's what they're thinking. It's tearing them up. It's tearing them up. It's tearing them apart, Ted Nugent. It's tearing you apart. And, and it's so sad. Stop appealing to them. Stop. And, and like some of the political cartoons that people are posting, mm -hmm. it's got one of them, uh, you know, it's got the elephant. I don't know who the artist is, but he's always drawing the elephant in a suit mm -hmm. to represent the, uh, the Republican Party. And in one frame, it says, well, it's, uh, we're going to stop at nothing to make, uh, uh, you know, Obama a one term president. And then uh, in the next frame, uh, you know, the uh, elephant is holding a tissue. I can't believe the president's uh, inauguration speech wasn't more bipartisan. <laughs> you know, I believe and I and I've, and I've said this before and I maintain that the people on the left, uh, you know, not the people on the left, but the but the Democratic Party. Or the people that is, are is left. A, is a wing. It's a, it's just a, it's a dog and pony show. They're the decoy party. All you party. hear is nigger, nigger, nigger. Thank you, Dr. Lark. <laughs> uh, I'll, I, I'm not going to believe anything else until I see some definitive differences in the behavior of the two parties. Something a little bit more than the abortion issue, gay rights, uh, gay marriage, adoption, things like that. That's good. That's mm -hmm. good, but I would like to see a little bit more difference than that. I don't like this whole placating. I don't like this. This every time I hear the word bipartisan, it it's is like you know what it's become. It's become a buzzword for capitulation. It, the the when the right wing uses the word bipartisan, they they really mean hey you people over there that we hate, do things our way. And when the left wing uses the word bipartisan, it. It, it, I hear, hey, I'm going to walk across the aisle and suck Republican cock. Uh, that's, that's what the word means to me when I hear it anymore. When I hear it out of the mouth of the Republicans, I hear, hey, Democrats, suck it. And when I hear the Democrats say it, I hear them saying, I'm on my way. Because I don't hear the right wing compromising at all or using any language. Oh, where's my the, Harry Reid bit? In the, in the name of compromise <laughs> at all. Do you? Yeah, we, we. Oh, yeah. It, 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 the you, most hardest thing in the world to believe is that he was a boxer at one time. <laughs> Can you imagine him? I'll slap your belly. Harry Reid, a boxer? Well, you know, uh, Washington. He probably threw punches sideways like the girls do, you know, with the flat of their hand. Not like uh, Natalie does, boy. She rocks back, gets her body weight into hey, it. Hey, I know some MMA. Be yeah? very careful. I know some other acronyms, too. Ha, ha, ha. Do you? Can we wrestle right now? On the no, we cannot I'll go get wrestle, the shower. I'll go get the shower curtain, and if you're lucky, oh audience, goodness. you'll get to see that Made in China tattoo on the small of her back or on her butt. You know, I was, was going to say, you know, you're talking about Washington. It's a, it's a <laughs> tough town to be honest in. Just yeah. ask Beyonce. Yeah, just sure. <laughs> Just ask Beyonce. Oh, uh, man, man, and every – because I'm, I'm watching the news. Hey, by the way, is Spencer coming today? 
Oh. Spencer the car wash guy, we can arrange it. Boy. You know, he's probably <sighs> still alive. He's like 103 now. Only to cover oh, only to covered parking gets it today. I, um, Spencer used to be our car wash guy. at. Uh, and he would come here? Uh, car uh, washing well, he would come uh, to the radio station yeah. we worked at. Oh. Say, Spencer. you know who left the building? Who's oh, that? Over there. Ho ho! Joe Bell, this is what I heard. Oh, really? He moseyed on out the door. I see. <laughs> Isn't that I mean, sad? Oh, I'll, I didn't know. I'll add it well, to my so list I... of things to cry about <laughs> later. I mean, I'm very busy. I have a rich full day ahead of me. But because uh, you know what he once said to me, if it comes up, I'll fucking bend over backwards with my balls in a knot. <laughs> Thank you. That's and he had he had prescription drugs for that. Yeah. Do you smell Gibson? <laughs> SoFlo Radio, hello. Hey, I have a radio loyalty. Uh, Update beef. question. It's not a beef. beef. It, it buffers. It's a, <laughs> I, uh, it, it buffers like a son of a bitch. Yes. Pardon what? I said, uh, uh, hi, how are you doing? When you type I'm in SoFlo. Fine. When you type in SoFlo, the only thing that comes up is she's only rock and roll dot com. <gasps> that should not be the case. I know it Alan. shouldn't. Mm. I, I have, ver- I have verified God. that, so I thought. <laughs> However. Hey, what you do is. Uh, we're on there. I'm actually using it to listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, um, I'm gonna try to find a station over here. I'm just gonna go in okay. and uh, station guide and test that theory because certainly that was, and I don't know why that is, uh, because of the she play because we simulcast. Mm-hmm. I'm typing in SoFlo Radio. Did you try that? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna try it again. Wait. And so, and there we are. Wow. SoFlo Radio it came right up when I did it. Maybe. And I listen to it on uh, the app on my phone, too. Yeah, leave the W off flow. Yeah. Cause that's no, a... I, I'm aware. Okay. So right. flow. But thank you. Do you, do you see okay, the, the mugs? Do you see the coffee I... mugs that everyone is enjoying today? I do. Anyway, well, thank you. Yeah. Nat- Natalie was actually asking me, you have fans who are girls? <laughs> <laughs> like, she and was they all get shocked. you presents? She, she didn't say it like this. She went, <laughs> you have fans that are girls? Really? You have a fan club with a president and everything? ID cards, secret handshake, you betcha. Oh, my God. I'm still yeah. trying to get into that club, but yeah. <laughs> uh, it exists. It's an important part, right? It's very exclusive. Please yeah, submit you your applications to uh, PR at SoFlowRadio.com. Okay, I will, right. I will try again, and I'll report back. Please do. Immediately, if not we'll sooner, do. please. Okay, we'll be looking for uh, you. Yeah, Peace adios. <laughs> and once again, the radio loyalty thing, and it's not just, you know, oh, it's like you got a vested interest in that. Not yet, we don't. Get people listening to it, maybe. I, we'll I don't even know what it is. Some of their ads. I have yet, you know, because we have a, a relationship with TuneIn Radio, which is our primary player. Yeah. Seven months ago, I signed an ad share, uh, an ad revenue sharing agreement with them. Haven't gotten a dime, haven't gotten a statement. Uh, radio loyalty, uh, who knows? Who knows? So I'm just, we keep experimenting. But once again, because I'm greedy and selfish, Um. and I listen to other streaming entities. I use my phone to listen to, like, say, BBC One, Mm -hmm. for example. I'd listen to other radio stations besides just us. (laughs) Why not use the player that pays you to use it? There are only, like, 100 radio players, iTunes. I mean, well, that too. Spark Radio, uh, Wonder Radio, Receiva. Mm -hmm. I'm hiccuping. Mm-hmm. Utoon. <gasps> All of these uh, radio players, most of them are free, and they, they pay for themselves by having ads on there. You've you can go into your uh, yeah. uh, Dick Ver... What's his name? Dick Fur? Dick Vermeil, whatever his what's name. What's a Dick oh, Fur? Yeah. From the broadcasting school. Yeah. Richard... Dick... Did you call it Robbie Robertson? Robbie, Robbie Robertson. That's, that's not right. what you called it. Uh, <laughs> that's not what you called it. <laughs> school of... Give me eighteen thousand dollars. Oh, I lie, you're a broadcaster. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Wait a minute. That's on there. You, you could go into your. Oh wait, look, see, <laughs> Dick. Ver- what's his name? Dick Fur. Dick Vermeil. Whatever. What's a Dick Fur? Oh, yeah. From the Vermeil. It and got this gig at an all sports station. Changing the urinal. Why does it sound like you're a million miles away? Because he's in the toilet. Oh, okay. Thanks for explaining Thank this. Thank you, okay. Connecticut School of Bankruptcy. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Dick Blessed, uh, the Connecticut School of Bankruptcy. Now, hey, there's still funny things left to do in this Did you dying this guy whore called uh, no. radio. Oh, no, I met him. Right yeah. wing talking, oh, yeah. reading three by five cards on F. His breath can peel pain. And sports. <laughs> sports. <laughs> Wow! Wow! That's the thing we just can't get. It was lifted off his okay. actual spot. Here's all you gotta do. First, you uh, 
first uh, you give me the twelve thousand dollars in tuition money, and and then I'll just uh, I'll just go away. <laughs> Oh, there, there, there he went. And, 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 he went away. And, 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 and away he went. And we're speaking of going away. We're so late for breaks. And um, oh, whatever it is. Oh, I wanted to point some things out to you uh, during during this break. One twenty four on pointing things out radio. Soflowradio dot com. At Soflowradio dot com, we do big things. Soflowradio.com. No ugly chicks allowed. Well, it's all day long. I eat ding dongs and stuff my face with chocolate. Though I love the taste, it goes right to my waist. My belt, I just can't buckle it. When that ice cream float goes down my throat, everything's okie doke until I see the numbers on the scale. Whoa, nothing can replace those donuts by the case. I sit at home and stuff my face. Forty Twinkies and a fat donut to munch. Yeah, I'm big style like me. Baby, I was born to And then what happened? SoFloRadio.com. No ugly chicks allowed. CBC5 is the executive liaison for all your building compliance needs. Serving South Florida from the Palm Beaches to Key West, CBC5 delivers five-star service that... Brings you know, let's just say BC, a BDQ or whatever. CBC5. It stands for Complete Building Compliance. Well, I ain't building nothing, so what can they do for me? Well, they do more than plan review and permitting. They help the little guy cut through red tape. I got duct tape holding the gut of my carport. Well, CBC5 can help. Let them deal with bureaucrats. They helped George Rodriguez solve a sewer lateral problem, and they saved him a ton of money and hassles. By City Hall, who can do that? CBC5 can do that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a commercial to finish. <clears throat> Contact Shoddy the Hottie at CBC5 786 255 3851 or log on to CBC5.net. That's CBC5.net. To get in touch with George, call 954 990 0036 in Depew. Nine on the next Big Brother Candidate Edition, Hillary Clinton. You all right in there, old mama? Yeah, just. <clears throat> yes, just preparing my female voice for the fundraiser tonight. <laughs> Try talking it a little better this time. Your yellow outfits seem to hide it better than the blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the kind of advice I'm going to get for the next four years? Nah, <laughs> I ain't going to be around much. I got special projects I'm going to pursue. Projects my model does. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> What's wrong? You know, there's just some things a girl don't want to share. Sounds like feeding time at the zoo. Must you stand outside the door? You make me nervous as a sword swallower when he coughs. Yeah, well, take my advice and don't wear no more tops than plunge. Plunge this. Boom! Obama. <laughs> Seventy-seven makes the week go fast, makes the weekend last and last. WABC. Oh, and then what happened? You touched something. But I'm not, but I'm, I know. <clears throat> I'm playing it. All right. America hates you, Harry Reid, spineless weenie doo doo head. Whose side are you on, you jellyfish moron? Harry will bend over forwards for whatever neocons want. The 
Girls of the fruit fly, Barry Reed calls himself a Democrat. You're not fit to lead a Girl Scout cavalry. Barry represents everything that's wrong with the Democrats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My staff has always said, don't say this, but I'm going to say it again because it's so descriptive because it's true. Tourists lined up in summer and winter. In the summertime, because the high humidity and how hot it gets here, you could literally smell the tourists coming into the capital. And that may be descriptive, but it's true. America hates you, Harry Reid, rubber stamping jellyfish geek. Weak need and mouthy, like Nancy Pelosi. Go back to the bottom in contaminated yucca flats. Hey, me! You complain about the odor, but what really stinks is you. All right, 1.30, SoFloRadio.com, George Rodriguez, Boca Brit, Natalie Jimenez Diaz. Sorry. And of course, the inimicable Suds Coleman because his voice is just kind of generic. Yeah, and it's really difficult yeah. to uh, imitate him. It just sounds like Suds. Mm-hmm. Um, Here's something I wrote on January second that I can't even read it. <laughs> so it must have been good beer. Yeah. Well, it yeah, always yeah, is. we'll give you credit yes. for it anyway. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Hey, I was not joking. Hey, look at it. It's like yeah. This is like the end of some movies. Make up your own punchline, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, uh, that looks like Dick Robertson's autobiography. Right a guy there. walks into a bar. Make up your own punchline. Uh, yeah. 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 Guy he, walks into a bar and he says, "Hey, I'd like to see what you look like when I'm naked." <laughs> <laughs> okay, for those people out there listening, I I just did a thing that I'm testing to see if it works right now. The big giant listen to radio loyalty banner. See, let's see if this works. Suds. Uh, Bam! It should just open up the station when you so click far, on that banner. It's, uh, and, it, and it's doing that. It's very quiet. So there you go. <laughs> well, by the way, remember the other day I, say, I said that... Oh, uh, there yeah, it is. There we are. I wish Suds was on the show. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So well, there, this is a, a uh, an unsolicited testimonial, and, and uh, look where you... There it there is. There we are. It works. And it's full it, of it's a plenty new, of limited time offers. Relatively new concept that we've been waiting for for a long time. I mean, imagine somebody paying you to read the newspaper, or uh, paying you based on how many billboards you look at or something, because there's all these million players, mm-hmm. and they're running ads, and they're free. It's like, no, I want something... Remember our motto here in South Florida? Not free enough. Yeah. Yeah. How free is it? Not free. Hey, I got something for you. It's free. Eh, how free is it? What else do you get? What else? Uh, mm-hmm. You know. What else do you get with that free thing that you're offering me? Do yeah. I, are you going to pick me up in a limo and take me down to where you're going to get me the free thing? What comes with the free thing? This do is I like get a, a foot massage with the free thing. What are this the is like an audio discover card. You know, you get two right. percent of the show back. Yeah, except with, with all the these other things. Revolution. Hello, with all these other <laughs> things, you you get cash back when you spend money. This is, yeah. You're going to be listening to the radio anyway. You're going to be using yeah. a radio ployer, ployer, yeah, a ployer. radio player anyway. Right these here. people are genius. No, for this show, it's a ployer. You know, it's a big it's a big fight between all these. Internet radio isn't a new thing now. When we started, it was. Nowadays, I don't have to explain it to people anymore. No. They just reach in their pocket and go, oh, and. Punch it right up. They all, but they already have a player that have already made their decision for Christ. They've already found, in most cases, a radio player that they like, and that's why I am encouraging people. If you're going to choose, you know, the, what, like, what's the difference between one and another? It, because it really doesn't matter what player you use. It's the audio. You're listening to whatever show. You know, BBC One sounds the same on TuneIn as it does on Wonder Radio, as it does on Radio Loyalty. Well, These, I run mine through a spectral analyzer to make sure I get all the highs. There you go. <laughs> I, I make sure I get all the highs. Yeah. And I don't no, have I to don't. use a special analyzer for it. So <laughs> if you're going to choose one player over another, and they're all pretty much the same, and they're all scrolling ads in your face anyway, why not use the one that uh, where you can accumulate points and then trade them in eventually for something? It'll probably mm-hmm. take about a year. A but you can Mustang. get something. You get stuff. Any, look at it. You could act, they have cell phones. You could possibly get the Galaxy free. All you have to do is turn on your radio loyalty account on five different computers and listen for a year. I don't know. For like a whole year, straight. 
24 hours a day. You know what? <laughs> if you use one of the other radio apps for a year, at uh -huh. the end of the year, you got nothing. That's true. That's true. So and just right. leave it running. Accumulate points. I got 11,000 without even trying already. Just leave it running while you go to work, while you go do your laundry. Yeah. Leave it on overnight. You're leaving. Most people leave their computers on anyway, don't they? Yeah. Is, I, mean, I do. Yeah. <laughs> You have to sometimes. The, the print server. And whenever I turn it off, that's when I have the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. That's exactly what happens. Well, I never leave mine on. You always turn it off? Yeah. It depends. I'm, I turn the laptops yeah. off, but like the desktops, yeah. you know, well, I ha kind of have to. I'm doing things. I'm streaming, yeah. relaying. Doing. Doing things. Yeah. So there you go. So if you go to SoFloRadio.com, right there, click on the banner on top. Uh, it launches the radio loyalty listen page right to us. You can sign up from right there, but most importantly, it'll just start playing our audio. So that go to meeting stuff's all about. You have to have your tower laptop running at your play or right. office. Mm -hmm. Oh, indeed. And, mm -hmm. and I mean, it doesn't so. when it um, isn't being used, it settles down and doesn't use a lot of juice. It's the monitor really that that yeah. uh, is a juice hog. This thing, this thing kicks think, out so uh, much heat. I I take this thing to bed with me at night on cold nights. This monitor is so freaking. <laughs> well, it's hot. got three hundred watt Westinghouse light bulbs. Yeah, in there, I can, so. It's an easy bake oven yeah. light bulb inside. Yeah. This thing. Well, well, uh, according to the late and very missed Eric, uh, it, yes. it's a heat thing that screws. Up. Your hard drive does not spin when you're not. Right. Uh, it goes no, to not, sleep. It settles right down. But it's still. You still got the heat problem, so oh, if, if you're if they're running cool, you're all right. You can leave them on pretty the, much. The all the newer time. computers do that. They run a little bit cooler than the yeah. than the older one, than the old Univax. That all the new ones and and, and HPs, I might add. <laughs> I could have barbecued hot dogs on my my HP laptop. That thing got so hot. Well, see, mine doesn't run hot at all. You, you I have, have two H HPs, and neither one. Ri yeah, well, you must have a newer one. Pretty than cool I have. running. Yeah. Uh, well, one of them's a couple of years old, and the other one's about fifteen thousand years old. It's got a crank. Well, th this one doubled as the Joe Frazier grill, you know. Did it? Put the, oh, you can make sandwiches oh, yeah. And open it back up. Speaking, speaking of that, I got a, a lean, mean <laughs> grilling machine that I don't want. Really? It's never no. been used. It's in a bag. In the, I've been throwing a lot of things out. I've got to, I'm going through I that, try that, one that life change thing that I'm over. They're great, but just like I don't cook here, you know? I cook all do, the time. Do you grill things like yes, little chicken breast and everything? Then it's yours. They work it's pretty purple. good. I've got it's beautiful. One. It's purple. It's nice. Never been used. I made something purple. the other day. Purple. I, oh. I made yellow rice with broccoli with uh, 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 bella mushrooms yeah. and chopped steak on top. Yeah, and, I'm, and then I'm driving. Down, okay, I didn't know what to call it, so I'm driving down the street. I see the billboard uh, for Pollo Tropical. Mm -hmm. Trop a chop. Oh, yeah. that's Trop what I made. I'm like, well, thank you very much. You know, that's not bad. They, that's actually a pretty good place. So we try to hit that like once a week. It's in the rotation. It's not. You can get stuff there that isn't fried, mm -hmm. and it's relatively cheap. Like one of those tropa chops, like what four bucks. Poya Poya is a great place. I, it, and, uh, and in fact, bucks uh, are worth it. Our, our mutual mutual friend when he comes down here, that's the first place he wants Speaking to go. Speaking of product reviews, uh -huh. Foursquare, Yelp, or Travel Advisor, which one? And now do I have to apply them all to Hootsuite? I was in Key West. Uh, when was it? The weekend of the 11th. What a wonderful time oh, that was. Nobody's ever quite sure when they were there when they get and back. That's why I marked it on the calendar. <laughs> Look at my, my uh, one of several souvenirs. Sudsy. Yes. My fly this this was my buddy. I don't know that. The place, whole weekend. Actually, this is uh, well. Have you um, you actually you do. Uh, it's it's the bar part of Fogarty's. Fogarty's is the fly. Oh, okay. Fogarty's is the restaurant, and then the Flying yeah. Monkey Saloon. Okay. Is the bar side of it, oh. and you can walk right up. They've got like four giant taps of frozen drinks: margarita, pina colada, mm -hmm. daiquiri. Whatever. They have a place like that, like that here in Fort Lauderdale Beach. Big well, weird so. Tuesdays, Tuesdays, big mm. Tuesday. Du yeah, fat do. Tuesdays. Did you call yeah, me a fat Tuesdays? Yeah. Fat okay. Tuesdays. Yeah. Yeah, and well, then you can get like off. a jug like that, and they, and they have all but the machines. But can you get refills? Because this was uh, sixteen yeah. bucks with an eight dollar refills, and I just I've refilled it like three times. This was it's my not as personal. Big as that, though. My personal margarita supply. <laughs> nice insulated cup. Look at that. No moisture on the outside. It'll yeah. keep things cold. I put this thing in the fridge at night, like when it was like half empty or you know two thirds or whatever. I put it in the fridge. It was right there, still frozen, waiting for me in the morning. And it was full. You tell the mystery. I, you would have been proud of me, Suds. I ate in like four hour cycles. I would drink constantly. This was yeah. my just glued to my hand and face. Mm -hmm. Cigars and of course lots and lots of weed. Mm -hmm. uh, so we would. Uh, I would wake up. Bake, bake up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shake and bake. While, while drinking, <laughs> we would go somewhere, eat. I would pig out until I could barely stumble my ass back to one of the available beds that were there for me. Thank yeah. you to the wonderful people that were hosting for me there. Take a nap. Yeah, of course. Wake up. 
<laughs> Go back and get more food. <laughs> Just eat, sleep. You're right. Yeah. yeah. The food oh. is important. Also, uh, because I'm a big martini drinker, mm. uh-huh. and so uh, I always have a big glass of ice water going, too. That's great. Look, Hydrate. Speaking Hydrate. Of mar- yeah. Of course. You speaking of mar- the game. See, these, see these martinis? Wait a minute. One of the... See those martinis? Aren't those the one that yeah. killed you? Girl's hands. That's the one that did me in. One of, <laughs> after, th- after three tall, Were they holding martinis? After three I... tall gin and tonics, um, my friend gives me one of those famous martinis. Yeah. And then that happened. Oh, yeah. That'll, yeah. that'll happen. Put me, yeah. Put me right yeah. out. Sleeping like a baby. You know what it does for me? I'll be uh, bopping around the house. I'll, I'll get home because I, I'll, like, I'll get onto the king's head mm-hmm. and... Uh, where is that? I'll, Give them the plug. I'll have a, like three nice Guinness, yeah. and then uh, rush I li- home because I yeah, like angry I don't Guinness. I like to drive and you know, and then right. uh, start knocking back martinis, <laughs> and it's eleven o'clock. Next thing I know, three forty-five. Huh? What? <laughs> They're time machines. I'm yep. Martinis? <laughs> yeah, they are. That's funny because I was like, it was like twelve thirty, one o'clock. I drank that martini. I thought, oh, whoa, a little dizzy right now. I'm gonna Uh-oh. sit down on the couch. Yeah. Next thing I know, it's three <laughs> thirty. Almost waking everybody's up. gone. Go. Yeah, the hostess is cleaning up. Yeah, I, it was one of the things she was going to. One clean of up. the beauties, yes, she did. right Thank there. You. Thank you, Maggot. Maggot offered me the the, the birthday boy. Uh, that's Vinny the pimp right there. The oh. birthday boy. Hi, Vin. Was already asleep wearing his uh, his oxygen mask, and <laughs> see, I had see this see the size of that glass. I had three of those. All right, three three gin and tonics that size. Yeah. See, and then whoa, and getting then ahead of there myself. You go. Oh wait, sorry. These are uh, irrelevant. <laughs> there I am holding the the empty martini glass. You know she is always bent in this with direction joint. like that. Every picture there. Uh, well, it's just, <laughs> there's a gravity situation with I see. I see my, yeah. my, oh. my pelvis over here, and these are the people that, of course, I was when I did that whole uh, thank you thing at the beginning mm-hmm. of the show. I was talking about about these people. Look at us. We're just well, that's partying, a good-looking crew. partying up. It is yeah. a good-looking crew, man. We're crazy. We do crazy things. That's all. That's yeah. why all of his guy friends want to hang out with him. And he, he doesn't I, I, I know. I, I've, I've, yeah. I've had this conversation with Vinny the Pimp. He also, by the way, here's here's the picture. That I got to show this to Sud. This is the picture when we were ready for it. I saw that. All right. This is the yeah. picture when we weren't ready for it. <laughs> yeah. Isn't right. this like uh, <laughs> when Felix Unger would show pictures of Look. his wife and the and the yeah, dog? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Not the um, wallet again. Vinny the Pimp, I've discussed that with him, and he also, because he's he's also blessed by a, a, a variety of female friends. Yeah. Uh, same same kind of thing. Guys, uh, glom on. Hey, Vinny. Vinny. I'm going to start charging a cover charge. And I say that jokingly because no. You should. Because no, cause I, no, no amount of money, for no amount of money would I alienate my female friends. For no amount ah. of money would I make them uncomfortable around me by allowing my lecherous, masher male acquaintances, acquaintances. around them. Like oh, a yeah. bunch of mm-hmm. dogs, man. Go, you got your strip clubs and you got your sports. <laughs> have fun. Go it have fun. You, it makes you uneasy. Yeah. Well, I, Again, it's you know it would be like if I had a friend that was always pitching Amway to everybody. It's like, yeah. hey, when are you going to introduce me to your friends? <laughs> that so is frightening. Pitch Amway or yeah. something. You're in the, some other pyramid scheme. He's full of Mary brush. Kay. <laughs> so it, it would be like that. It's like if if you had a friend that was always pitching Amway, you'd be like, yo, oh look, Christian Mingle, oh, Christian Mingle, ding, 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 ding. Ah. I'm on there. You only want to bang who God wants you to bang. Are you really? <laughs> oh yeah, I was. I was the hot of hot or not of the money. Have, <laughs> Have you heard this ad? Oh, yes. Yeah. It you brings know, you closer to God. You don't want to bang anybody unless God wants you to. Cold snow, yeah. Did I already mention that I don't care about the Benghazi thing and uh, people overseas, uh, they get assassinated, they die. Uh, it's part of the risk. Uh, uh, this stupid Senate. No one brought up there was 11 embassy raids when Bush was in office. Yeah. That was hey, a, that swept sweep that under the car. Shut up, commie. Yeah. Why do you hate America and keep your hands off my gun? <laughs> so speaking of the dog and pony show that's going on, this gun thing, and I know because we talked about it a little bit before, I've got it a little bit more figured out than the last time we talked. Mm-hmm. It's a dog and pony show designed to continue to uh, take Americans' rights away, continue to uh, push through right-wing agenda I and the Democrats and the people on the left are willing participants in this dog and pony charade and the nra is the recipient of 
this is, is the is the both the tool and the recipient of all this conflict that's going on. Um, people have been posting a lot of things on Facebook, including one of the memes, and it's in there somewhere. I don't know if I shared it or not. Mm -hmm. Has a quote from the founder of the NRA. Because if for those of you who don't know, the NRA, the National Rifle Association, was founded as a um, a gun enthusiast and gun safety and education organization. Then over time, like the Rep <laughs> like the conservative, uh. like the conservative party was the party of Lincoln and Teddy Roosevelt was all about conserving things. You know, Teddy Roosevelt created the national parks, and slowly over time, they got taken over by the rich people, the right wing lunatics, the religious people, and they made these organizations serve their interests. But here's an analogy, because I love these analogies, and you can weigh in on this. Let us say, let us pretend, uh, I'm going to get the magic wand sound effect out here, because it's magic genie time. Uh, oh, wow, you're doing that, because you sure. brought up millionaires? Yes. Let's see if this, let's see if this comes up. Uh, we have a new drop. Uh, for okay. for uh, millionaires who uh, uh, go to jail and get raped by a plunger? Yes. There you go. All right, I like that. I'm, can I can I test my magic wand? Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Ah, oh, that's a lovely sound. Well, it's a little rusty, isn't it? And I've been looking up. I've been doing a lot of research and looking up statistics and uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, let's say that you're a billionaire and you know that the things that you want to do to America are going to really dick the majority, especially the working class. I must be a cop brother. <laughs> you want to promote an agenda that's going to really mm -hmm. screw the working class of America, make you richer at the expense of the working class of America. The working class of America represents 80%. So if you're going to, if you could step out onto a podium or start uh, and endorsing politicians that are so are obviously going to screw the majority of the population, you're not going to win. You got to get the support of 80% of America some other way than by getting out there and saying, "Hey, I believe in policies that are going to cost you more money but make me richer than I already am. I'm going to take away all of the rights that you have as an employee. I'm going to erode your labor rights. I'm going to erode your civil rights, uh, freedom of speech, right to privacy, and, and forget the whole abortion thing and right to choose and gay marriage. I'm going to get rid of all of that stuff, and I'm only going to promote policies that are bad for you and good for me. Nobody would vote for them. Mm -hmm. But so what they do is they say, they go, hey, Here's an organization that I would like you to support. It's called the Liberals Want to Unleash Tigers All Over America Defense Fund. Because the liberals want to unleash tigers all over America, specifically trained to eat your children. Kitty, kitty, and kitty. we, the, the Stop the Liberals from Letting Tigers Loose in America organization, need your money so that we can stop the liberals from unleashing tigers on everyone. Oh, oh, wait, let me pop another bush. Do you hear that, honey? Do you hear that, honey? The liberals are going to unleash tigers on us. We need to scrape together. Let's take let's take 25% of our beer budget and give it to the anti-liberal tiger uh, uh, agenda fund so that we can protect our children from the tigers. The liberals, them commie liberals, they want to give my money to black folks, and now they want to unleash tigers all over us. We need to give our money to the organization that's going to protect us from liberal tigers. Now, the liberal tiger organization is obviously a ruse because the liberals don't really want to unleash tigers on anyone. It's just a lie. What they really are is a political action committee that's going to take that money that they collect. They're not going to allocate any of the money towards getting rid of tigers. What they are going to do is they're going to use that money to fund those right-wing politicians that are going to dick the working class. See, it's mm -hmm. a scam. They're going to work. They're going to because we can't get money to support politicians who are going to dick the working class by saying, "Hey, would you support me? I'm going to totally screw you." Hey, support me. I'm going to stop the liberals from unleashing tigers on your children. That's why it's you need to support tiger. me. Oh, also, <laughs> thank you. Also, by the way, there's a reason I chose tigers, uh -huh. and that's why. Also, by the way, I'm also, by the way, going to erode your civil rights, and um, we're going to support uh, policies that make rich people richer at your expense. But we're going to protect you from tigers. <laughs> That's it's important. Tiger. You see the analogy here? The NRA used to not be a political organization. Mm -hmm. They were taken over and made into a political organization because... It is true that there are some people that do want to disarm Americans. That's true. But how are you going to accomplish that? Because 
think of all of the law, laws that we ignore, like speeding laws and we cheat on our taxes. Some people, not me, because you've got to make money to cheat on your taxes, smoke and dope. And none of these things can be rationalized with the Constitution. Whether you agree with wh how that uh, amendment is written or not, th uh, like driving a car, everybody tells you driving is a privilege, right? Mm -hmm. But Correct. if they tried to take your car away, there would be a hue and cry from the public. But driving a car yeah. is not, there's not, not even mentioned in the Constitution, not even mentioned at all. So there's not even there's not even a rationale for saying it's my right to own a car. There's not even a rationale for that in the Constitution. But there is that line that whether or not you agree with how it's written and whether or not you agree with how it's interpreted and whether or not you agree with uh, it meaning the same thing now as it did then, it is there and it is something that the people can grab onto and wave in your face and say, look at here. The Constitution says I've got this right as opposed to dope and cars. But if you try to pass a law against open cars, people would ignore it. If they passed a law against smoking cigarettes, Boca Brian, mm -hmm. you would not stop smoking cigarettes. You would just say, fuck you. I'm going to smoke cigarettes anyway. It's my right. But it's not. But go to Canada. Smoke, but cigarette smoking yeah. is not guaranteed. Let's go. Oh, go to Canada. Canada. Lots of tiger stuff on there. Uh, that's, uh, it's from let, Tiger let's Radio. Do it. So that's, this is my point. Is Here's I, another one. I I have, one let's one do it. More. I want to have a tiger thing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I submit that the Democrats are, are playing along with the right wing. They're all a party to it. They're a part of the charade. They, they have all turned us into this guy, Monty yeah. Teo. Who is that? Uh -huh. you know, the fake That's girlfriend right. guy. Yeah. The what? They have turned us all into him. We all think we have a fake girlfriend in Congress. Oh, Congress. oh, yeah. oh that, that story. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> and Suds, Suds comes along. Well, you know, I have those Twitter enhancing drugs, uh, <laughs> so I can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So anyway, I suggest that um, uh, the the more the more uh, rhetoric there is, because I, I believe in the same thing that everybody uh, that is sensible ought to, that it would be a much safer country if people weren't running around with guns. It would be a much safer country if we eliminated guns from our society the way that other civilized nations have. It would be much safer and it would be a better place to live. But how do we accomplish that? I'm going to tell you how we're not going to. I'm going to tell you how <laughs> not only do we not have a chance of accomplishing it, but you're making things worse by, by what you're doing, people on the left. By what you're doing, you're not going to achieve your goal, but you are empowering the opposition because every time that somebody posts a meme that's all reactionary, every time somebody posts something that's an insult, because Dale Carnegie, the book's right there in the bookcase, Dale Carnegie taught me, us, no one believes they're wrong. No one believes they're wrong or they wouldn't be that way. Everyone believes they're right mm -hmm. or you would be, you know, uh, no one walks around going, I'm wrong. This is what I believe and I'm wrong and I know I'm wrong. People believe that everything they believe is right. And if they didn't believe that, they would believe something else. So by default, everything that everyone believes is right. When you tell someone you're wrong, mm -hmm. their reaction, and this is every human being on the planet, the initial reaction of that person isn't to say, oh, you know what? I might be wrong. Let me think long and hard about your mm -hmm. point that you just made there. Let me think about how I might be wrong since you just told me that I was wrong. <laughs> they don't. They don't react that way. They go, they say, no. fuck you. I'm right. You're wrong. You're wrong. So you're not going to win anybody. You're not going to change anybody's mind by saying you're wrong or calling them a name or saying uh, anything that is going to cause a reaction like that. I used to have guns and now I don't. Suds used to smoke cigarettes and now he don't. No. I didn't give up my guns because the law told me to. Suds didn't give up cigarettes because the law told him to. Oh, yeah. The law told me to. Okay, honey. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. You're not going to change people's minds by passing a law. You're not going to no, have you're not gonna, to... you're not going to change their minds. And it's not going to be <clears throat> one of these deals. If they sign it into law, no more guns. Uh, no one people just be... they are, are, are under the impression that guns are just going to magically disappear. Yeah. No. Oh, wait, It'll oh, be wait, 50 wait, years no. before there's any real improvement. They, yeah. they won't. And But yeah. see, here's the thing. There is a way. But there there's is no way. start. Nobody is no, starting. Nobody, the reason, no, well, yeah, I have the right idea, but nobody listens to me because I'm not part of this political song and dance that's going on. I'm not part of the scam. Nobody wants to listen to me. The way that you get people to stop smoking, education, and you take away the yeah. reason that they smoke in the first place. Most people smoke because it calms them, meaning they're stressed out. 
I need a cigarette. So yeah. stress management. Lucky if, strikes. Old if commercials you are, used to say, you are be less all that you can be. Smoke yeah. a lucky. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if you do, if you Live reduce modern. stress, yeah. if you reduce stress, you'll reduce cigarette consumption. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you reduce fear, you'll reduce gun ownership. Most of the people that own guns who feel it is their right to own a gun, they're afraid of two things: criminals and, and the government. And the government. Yeah. See, and, and that's that's funny. I think that's funny. But you're not going to change anyone's mind by insulting them. You're not going to change anyone's mind. I'm not insulting. That's a fact. They got hangups. Uh, but that you're you're making a generalization. This and, the, no, and this not. goes way back. I'm yeah. making a genitalization. You're not going to change anyone's mind by insulting them. I listen. When I owned guns, I was having lots of sex. I didn't have a penis problem. I didn't have penis envy. Yeah, I didn't but have you a had a gun anymore. on them. I had, <laughs> I had plural guns, and my friends and I would go out shooting all the time. And by friends, I mean my female friends. My yeah, male you can friends go out shooting with children. We go out shooting. The, those we're are the ones I'm shooting. talking about. Shooting guns. The ones who defend that. Shooting act. guns is fun. And if somebody gave me a gun right now, I'd have to see how much. And I all those guys, all those guys on the punditry shows that are uh, uh, fighting these changes in the law. Mm-hmm. They're for killing kids, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> as far as they'd the they like to see nothing them. better than a dead child, Senate pushes and long as they have then. their hobby. Yeah, but you're not going to change their mind with an adversarial no, position, and you're not going to change their mind no by insulting going. them. And Why not? as a gun owner, I you know I sold my guns because I needed the money. It was as simple as that. I I see guns the same way that I see knives and fires and cars. It's a thing that man makes that's dangerous. And men, there are, for, first of all, there are lots of dangerous things in the world that were here long before mankind came along. And then mankind invented lots of dangerous things like guns and swords and crossbows and things like that. They're all dangerous. I'm not afraid of tools or objects. I'm afraid of crazy people. And a crazy person will kill you one way or another. They'll poison you. And I, and I pulled up all the stats over here and the things that people use to kill each other. Guns are just one of the things on the list that people use to hurt each other. If you got rid of all the guns in the world, there would still be murder. There would still be all these other problems. And, and speaking of problems, since I got the magic genie over here, think of all the things that are important to those of us on the left. I got my magic genie too. <laughs> think of all of the things that are important so to you on the, uh, uh, as, a, as a person on the left of center, Boca Brian. Make a list of the things that are important in America that you would like our government to accomplish, and the right wing is resisting it. Make a list of the things in order of oh. importance. Because I have my list. That I would like to see accomplished in order of importance. Healthcare is number one. It's not going to happen. I, but I'm not answering my question. Healthcare is number one, right? That's that's, okay. that's pretty right. close to the sure. top. Right. Yeah. Life yeah. is made out of time. Your they don't care about that either. The, I know they don't care about that. I'm, I'm on my way to a point here. Okay. <laughs> healthcare, let's say, is the is the number one issue uh, in our lives. Those of us who are left of center would like to see universal healthcare the way that all civilized countries have it. Yes. Life, yeah. life is made out of time. Everyone that works in government, supposedly for you, they have so many hours in the day to work on a project. I would like to see them work on a project in order of importance from top to bottom. I would like when they take when they show up in the office in the morning and they sit down to their computer and they take pen to paper and they start working on things supposedly that they're supposed to be working on for us. I would like to see them work on something in order of importance. Health care. It is the fireman analogy that I use, you're on a street and the fire engine is coming down the street towards you because on one side of the street, a building is on fire. On the other side of the street, there's a cat up in a tree. Firemen deal with both of those situations. The fire engine stops in front of you. The firemen start pouring out, hey, guy on the street, we see that there's two problems over here. Which one should we tackle first? Me, as a pragmatist, I would say, Put that fire out first because there's people up in the upper stories of the building going, ah, how is we going to die? There's people up there in the upper stories. Deal with that. And then when you're done, there's this cat. Priorities in order of importance. I was looking up statistics all day long. It's down there like on homicide in America is a cause of death amongst everybody. Adults and children is down there like number 10 or something, 11 or something. After cars, obesity, you know, heart disease, all these health related issues and the lack of health care. Is many the people who die from a lack of health care is so many times more than the people that die from handgun violence, which is a problem. It's just not as big a problem as people dying from lack of health care. The people that we pay our taxes to who are employed in government should be addressing problems from top to bottom, most important to least important. And with regards to the gun problem, Everyone, you have to understand, everyone who is a pragmatist, everyone who is a sentient person with their eyes open, has to understand that every time that a politician 
opens up a mouth about gun control, they lose votes. They lose votes because the majority of Americans believe in a lot of things that the left agrees on. A lot of things like health care, women's rights, the right to choose whether or not you get an abortion, gay people getting married. The majority of Americans agree with almost all of the left-wing points, but they don't agree with that one. They don't agree with the gun control one. This is a statistic. This is a statistic that we have to wrap ourselves around. Responsible and with. gun owners with a lot of guns believe in gun control. Yes, but the, yes, but but the people that part the people out. whose vote the people who vote for the right who you want to vote for the left. Right. Vote for the right because of that issue, because of the gun <clears throat> issue. There are people that vote right for no other reason than that. No. And I submit, I submit to you that if you get these people voting left, little by little, you'll make some progress mm -hmm. as progressives. Little by little, you'll make some progress even with regards to the gun issue. Yes, little by little, if you that. demonstrate to them that the party that you support has their best interests in mind, you got them more rights, you got them more money, you see how we're on your side? Got you some more paycheck, got you some left, lower taxes, got you some better roads, got you some health care, got you some employee rights, you see how we're on your side? Now when you bring up the subject of safety in our schools in a pragmatic way, they're not going to see you as a threat. They're going to see you as an ally because you have demonstrated to them that you have solved these other issues that they consider to be more important, like health care. This is my suggestion. I have the same goal in mind as you do, as everybody else who's a logical person. Fewer guns is a better thing. Fewer guns and, and gun safety is a better thing. But when you use – and they, they, they hear these as buzzwords. When, you, when they hear the word gun control or gun regulation <laughs> – no, Commun not all of them. Not all of them. No. But enough of them. The yeah. NRA people that you're talking about, these are the people they are a force. They get money from these people yeah. because the NRA is empowered by the left, not the right. The NRA well. is empowered because they point. They have the ability to point to people and say, you see how those people want to take your gun away? It's a boogeyman. Mm -hmm. It's a boogeyman principle. But as long as there are people running around acting like the boogeyman, the NRA will always have a boogeyman to point to. Kill the boogeyman. Stop acting like the boogeyman. Worry about cars and bridges and boats and health care and women's rights and gay rights and an LBTG, LMNOP rights. Worry about these things and everything else will follow. Out. If you say, if you even, if you open up a mouth and say the word gun and accept in a positive way. If you're left of center and you bring and you say the word gun and and, and left if of what, center. if you if you're left of center and you say the word gun, you should reach into your holster and pull it out and say, I got mine, I like it, and put it back in there. And then you'll get those people voting for you instead of against you. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be able to accomplish all these other things, including gun control. And there's always going to be anarchists, no matter how many laws. There's always going to be anarchists, no matter and what. That's, that's what you see on the uh, on the uh, news talk anarchists shows. Anarchists and opportunists, because yes. the policies of prohibition do not eliminate the thing that you're trying to prohibit. Rather, it enriches the person willing to provide the thing that is being prohibited Al Capone and all these other gangsters. Prohibiting something through law doesn't eliminate it. It makes it more popular and it makes it more profitable to deal in that commodity. And that's that's my big gun spiel. I want the same thing. I just you're you're going about it the wrong way and I think they know it. I think the Democrats know that they're going about it the wrong way. I think that this is how they throw elections while looking like they're trying. Oh, see? Nope, we tried really hard. We spent a lot of money, but somehow they voted for the other people instead. You opened up a mouth about their guns, didn't you? Didn't you? And you knew. You knew that was going to happen. You knew that was going to happen. They're going to... A politician, yes or no, because there are a lot of people that are in favor of gun control and a lot of people that are opposed to gun control. On average, when a politician opens up their mouth in favor of gun control, will they gain votes or lose votes? On average. On average. Say, I'm not paying attention well, right now. Uh, All right, and we're late for the break. I know we're late for the break. Well, let's take it then. While I go get my gun, uh, it's I want to know when One Direction's coming here for a concert. That's what. That's my concern. <laughs> <laughs> Join the radio revolution. SoFloRadio.com. 
the vocabulary of the average American stops growing by age 18, and a lot sooner if you live in the Ozarks. To make a positive impression and to get ahead, you need an advantage. You need Hillbilly Verbal Advantage. With Hillbilly Verbal Advantage, you'll learn key power words that will make you seem smarter than you really are. Words like gruesome. Woo-wee, have you seen Billy Bob's boy, young Billy Bob? I hardly recognized him. He sure has gruesome. Raffle. You best get out of here or I'll let this raffle do the talking for me. Spearmint. I heard that old Doc Frankenstein was doing all sorts of weird spearmints in his basement. Give your vocabulary the boost it needs with Hillbilly Verbal Advantage. Call today! Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, that dang old internet, man, you just go on there and point and click, get in there and talk about www.wcom, me, you got them that naked chicks on there, man, you go click, 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 it's real easy, man. Let's go with the swinging Tiger I'm a hillbilly Republican, but vulgar. Inbred, retarded, and comfortably dumb. I'm a big dick and bush supporter. In Saudi America, the country I love. God bless America, it says on my truck. Swatch because they're tattooed on my nuts. Run me lotion shiny, I'll care about me. I wear it on my sleeve. Watch down on my pulsating staff And let me watch your balls slapping on my lap Come on, good Christian brother, help me get off As I gaze upon my naked dick to John Ashcroft Younger than dog dude, just like George's brain That's why I'm devoted to the hill Democrats are commies, dissenters and gays Christ killing Jews living in sin Your wife. <laughs> we'll go to the convention hall where a license and a gun is easy to buy. That's right. NRA says everything's fine. Get yourself a gun and have a good time. We'll go buy a gun, throw it in the trunk, pop a top of suds, get good and drunk. All right. In a ball or a town where there's people all around You can just open up and mow them down That's right No why? NRA says everything's fine Get yourself a gun and have a good time Come on everybody Exercise your right Play God, play God, play God, play God, play God, take the unit life. Well, go teach your son how to use a gun. Show him some down home Christian fun. That's right. Praise the Lord. Then you pack it in his lunch so things get rough. He can leave everybody in a pool of blood. All right. Now your son can chew like a man. Everything's fine, get yourself a gun and have a good time. Yeehaw. NRA says everything's fine, get yourself a gun and have a good time. It's WQAM, the happy, happy, happy sound. Way to get rid of this whole attorney general gig. To go driving cross country in a brand new 18 wheeler rig. I might haul around a heavy load or just disconnect the trailer and go. Cause I'm Janet Reno and I'll be trucking on down the road. I'll have a chicken fried steak at every choking puke I can find. And if I meet a little filly, then I'll ask her if she needs a ride. 
When I pull over at a resting place I'm gonna wrap her legs around my face Cause I'm Janet Reno And I'll be trucking on down the road The fellas at the way station Ought to know the girls who work at night And by the next mile marker I'll have a filly by my side And with the steering wheel between my legs And the filly sitting on my brakes I'll be Janet Reno And I'll be trucking on down the road Yes, I'll be Janet Reno And I'll be trucking on down the road 210, SoFloRadio.com. I miss Janet Reno. She's still around, like, kicking, sort of, in her sleep, restless leg syndrome, sort of. She's, uh, you know, we make fun of the Parkinson's and everything. That's because she's a good sport. She's a good egg. We like Janet Reno. It's fine. Looking at the um, causes of death by age. This is a great site for those of you out there. Worldlifeexpectancy.com. And then you can choose. It's one of those interactive sites where you can click on male, female, both, average out, click on what's killing who by age and, uh, and sort things and rank things. And I was surprised... As, uh, as was Suds, that mm-hmm. poisoning is the main cause of death in America That's every crazy. year. Um, by a margin of a 1,000, um, suicide is number two. Coronary heart disease is number three. Road traffic accidents, number four. And then other neoplasms, and nobody in the studio knew what neoplasms are. It's a tumor mm-hmm. or a growth. In other words, uh, a, a cancer type thing. Homicide is number six when we average it all up. But then everything else, liver disease, breast cancer, stroke, HIV, AIDS, hypertension, diabetes, uh, other injuries, uh, endocrine, end- endocrine? Endocrine, endocrine, endocrine uh, disorder, lung yeah. cancers, colon, rectum cancer, everything else is an illness. So all of these other things. Oh, fires. Fires is number 37. Drownings is number 30. But most of the other things on here have mm-hmm. to do with uh, the people wouldn't have died if we had good health care. And even then, <laughs> I can even apply that to gun injury. Even then. Uh, all of it. The if we had good health care, poisonings. The poisoning points out uh, why it's so difficult to get uh, fizzies anymore. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I got fizzies. You have fizzies? I have bacon fizzies. Bacon fizzies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it's we're talking. funny because it's true. Right there behind the green uh, buckyball box. Have you seen my buckyballs? I see the bacon beans. and the, Yeah, right uh... there, that round thing. Yeah, bacon fizzies. Wow. Which you mean, want me to make you a bacon fizzy? <laughs> <laughs> want your bacon fizzy? <laughs> Not unless you got a cheese fizzy to go with it. <laughs> God. So that's my big agenda as a, as a person who lives in America with children. The health care thing, um, I, don't, I don't freak out in it, uh, about guns probably because I was raised around them and just see them all the time. You just become amused, amused, amused and immune to having them around. But I'm a little bit freaked out by our lack of health care mm-hmm. here. In America, which is way more, I mean, our, our thing with guns is unique to our history. So there, at least there's a, a, uh, a, not a, not a rationale, but at least there's, a, you can point to an explanation. It's like, why, why, what's with the U.S. and their guns? It's like, well, the Wild West and the Cowboys and the Indians and this and that. And it's just like, it just became part of the culture from uh, the early history. But the lack of health care has no basis or logic in anything other than just ass holiness and cruelty. Yes. Because and speaking of the Constitution, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The first, the first one of those things is life. Life. And liberty mutual. Yeah. And the pursuit of. Of but course, happiness. Go, like life is a luxury. Staying alive is a luxury in America. And I know that the people on the left of the aisle make that an issue and are trying hard to get that pushed through. But I say, I, I say, I submit. And if I made a wish with a magic genie, is a, the Democratic Party stopped. <laughs> All activity until it got that done and done right. I'm not talking about Obamacare, glorified insurance company. You know, the insurance thing really makes me kind of crazy when you think about it. The insurance industry, because think about that. Here's let me let me let me lay some. The whole logic time on. I lived in Hartford, I just felt creepy. <laughs> think of uh. think of what insurance is. <laughs> It's a pool of money that we pay into. Mm-hmm. That if we have a problem, then we get. The, the, we get paid from the pool of money, right? It's an ecumenical the, pool. Sure. Now, why, why does that deductible. require an industry? Don't we already have that system? Don't we already pay taxes and have a treasury? Don't we, as American citizens and American taxpayers, already pay money into a pool that then, in the case of like disasters like FEMA or something out then mm-hmm. the pool pays in case of emergency. The pool pays to deal with the problem. Why cannot we – and we do. We have Medicare – works with that pool. Why do we need an entire industry? In other words, there is an industry, a multi-billion dollar a year industry, 
that, and all they are is a reservoir for our money. Well, we already have reservoirs for our mm. money. We have the treasuries. We have banks. Already we have a reservoir industry. Why do we need what amounts to extortion? This extortion, like you remember the old movies? It's like, hey, we see you got a nice restaurant here. Yeah. We're the fire prevention crew. Yeah. <laughs> We're here to make sure you don't get uh, uh, that uh, you don't have any pesky fires, then we'll put you out of business, see? What you do is every month we'll come over here and you give us a brown paper bag full of money and <laughs> we'll make sure that your place doesn't catch fire. So that, that's what the insurance aid industry is. Mm -hmm. And not just medical insurance, but why should I pay an industry. Get a real job, you assholes. Why should I pay an industry to hold on to my money for me in case of emergency? Why can't I give that to the government to hold on to my money for me in case of emergency? They've already got a bank account. The government already has a bank account, and I'm already paying money to them every year anyway. So why do we need this as the most unnecessary industry that ever existed? Second only to broadcasting, of course. Yeah, banking. <laughs> it's like... Uh Give a man a gun, he'll rob a bank. Mm -hmm. Give a man a bank, he'll rob, rob the world. He'll rob the world, right. <laughs> you know, Legal robbery. Why are we not in the banking industry, Because yeah. we're well, stupid? Because we're really nice. Yeah. There you so go. good peoples. Yeah. We are, we, you know, that thought never would have occurred to us. <laughs> That's why. Friend, a friend approaches me, wants to borrow money. I say, here you go. Yeah. I don't think to charge them interest. And then, of course, the Christians really dick themselves. You might not know this because you're a youngster, what? not the least, but in the olden days, we're all old enough to remember thousands of years ago. You remember the olden days, yes. Thousands of years ago, yes. Okay. Um, the Christians decided that it was going to be a sin to charge interest for um, lending money. Okay. And so they couldn't. Now, the Jews didn't have such a stupid law. <laughs> so, you know, all right, well, we're going to charge interest. Well, we're going to charge. <laughs> and, and then everybody has the nerve to get all resentful and bitter about the Jews and the fact that they are uh, bankers and have money. Like, y'all did it to yourselves. Y'all dicked yourself. You didn't have to. I mean, it was all arbitrary. All that sin stuff is arbitrary anyway. You didn't have to come up with that. Why the hell would you come up with that? It's a horrible concept. You stupid. That brings me to breakfast. That was not a good segue. Uh. Reading something the other day, uh, top 10 things that you can do to prevent your brain from deteriorating as you get older. Oh, too late. Item number one. Yeah. Item number one, breakfast. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Any breakfast. Like, oh, well, really? Hopefully a nutritious <laughs> well, I'm in better breakfast. Shape than yeah. I That's right. <laughs> better a nutritious. And then there's other things like get good sleep and all these common sense things in nutrition and, uh, and stress management and everything. But the one that surprised me was breakfast. More important than I thought it was. And that's a big deal to me because I have a problem with breakfast. Breakfast and I don't. You don't like breakfast? It's not that I like breakfast it's my food. Favorite. But my stomach isn't really ready to eat until it's lunchtime already. Like coffee. Oh, yeah. I like coffee. I have to have my coffee. I gotta have it. I'll have my coffee in the morning, a cup or three. And that's fine. That. I don't know what cramps me up. <laughs> <laughs> on an empty stomach? On an empty stomach. I know, my friend. See. It's very acid. I know. Yeah. And I have a yeah. problem as a result of that. Oh, oh acid. But for, oh, 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 acid. I put acid in my coffee and it, it's, it's great. It's great. I wonder yeah. if I could wow. put that. Oh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Unicorn. Well, what would you put, <laughs> since I have a coffee filter, I'm going to put um, ground up mushrooms. Mix it in with the coffee. You should try. See what that. See what happens. Have mushroom coffee. We're gonna take a break and be right back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll do that right now. <laughs> oh man, I had never thought so, of that. So, because Suds, Suds is Mister Breakfast. Suds is the breakfast yeah. man. Have yeah. you ever gone to Waffle Works over here with the cars no. and everything? I have a Groupon. I love. I love Groupon. By yeah. the way, uh, Waffle Works. They have all every car that ever existed, every like model car, yeah. right? model, and in the glass cases on every wall, dividing the booths everywhere. It's a model car collection without exception. Oh, yeah, wow. and I think the owner even owns one of the replicas of the Batmobile, so the original Miata? Batmobile. What's that? Miata? They have that? No, no he doesn't. Oh, well, I mean, he does. Just he has all of them. Just auctioned off for over a million dollars. The, the, the original, uh, one. the most recent. Is yeah, that the, right? the real one. The, the original real one. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. talked about it on John Etchen, the sports head. The Batmobile? With uh, Natalis. With yeah. Natalis Jimenez here Sunday. Sunday's 8 we to 10. We did. We did. Also listen Tuesdays, 7 to 9, John Etchen, the sports head. He's a good guy. He's the candy man. He leaves candy he for my daughter. He is a candy man. My daughter calls him the candy man because That's of that. Cute. And uh, she can't wait to visit. She, can uh, you now, eat the now, dishes? Now she's used to... You can eat the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> the fishes. Boy, go! You should go to a restaurant with Boca. Yeah, these days, not the least. Oh, although, yeah, although bring your, bring your own food. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Because they're going to be they're going to be no, no, he cracks jokes that nobody gets that, except except him, her, of course. It's a it's a personal thing. There are people there. Well, by the way, and there I don't know if there is there a name for that kind of joke, a joke where it's a joke on the recipient, but funny to the funny to the teller. That's that's not the name. <laughs> you should make it's up. Like, a, there are jokes. There are like I'm not going to tell them because they're specifically designed to piss off the person that oh, you're okay. telling. And like one of them, it goes on for five minutes, and the punchline is stupid. And so you, you deliver the punchline, and then you run. You have to do that. It's like <laughs> oh, that. I'm used to that. Yeah. Well, here's done a, here's that a short one. one. <laughs> here's a short one. Hey, uh, uh, not the least. I have a knock knock joke, but you have to start it. Knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> See, that. it's a joke on you. Like the Blair Witch Project was a so joke on funny. the audience. And Boke is a big fan of jokes <laughs> that are funny to to the teller and not to the hearer. And so the audience. I think the payoff is watching the waitress's eyes roll around. Or waiter's eyes. Like, oh, my God. I can't believe this. School is out. I don't know. One day this week. But anyway. Um, really? Uh, today. Today's well, Friday. maybe today. It's Friday. It is today. I know that. That's how, that's that's how I wound up at Orchid last anyway, night. There's no school today. There was no school. Oh, why is there I'm school? having breakfast. I'm not sure. And uh, so, there, tell us about a, your breakfast. There's a bunch of kids there. What do you eat you for know? breakfast? A lot. A lot. Yeah. And this one, uh, this one booth, there was like three, four kids, and and the mom. Mm-hmm. And these kids were out of control. Oh. I mean, just what a pain in the ass kids, and she did nothing. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely and nothing. So I came up with a new word. Milp. What? Mothers, I'd, I'd like, like to punch. punch. I'm using it. <laughs> Writing it down. Oh, sh- I just splattered water. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Man. Sorry, my Milp. flying monkey mug. Oh, just and it says Fogarty's on the side. My just flying monkey mug has a mind of its own. My buddy. My friend. You're Biffle. I, whatever. <laughs> you know, they're very cool. BFS. And Way to go, Linus. Walking into a restaurant with a drink from another bar. It's like the... They, don't they hate you when you do that? In Key West, they don't hate. Oh, that's good. They, they just, forgot. Yeah. They just go in with Key it. Key West, you, they yeah. They flow. It's party town. It's like yeah. King, Key West where it's always spring break. Yeah, it, kind of. It's pretty much yeah. that's the mentality there. Yeah. You can walk around, open containers. And he, I was talking to one of the locals. As mm-hmm. a matter of fact, there were several locals there. Went there for a wedding. A bunch of people went down there, but we had a lot of connections, a lot of uh, okay. contacts there. And one of the locals was telling me, yeah, I mean, you can walk around with your drinks out in the open, but there's some controversy going on because the, the, the police, they don't let the homeless people have open containers, but the tourists do. And I said, I really like this place. <laughs> I really like this town. This works mm. out. Yeah. No. I love it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like drive them bums out of here. I don't, I, when I'm stumbling down the sidewalk drunk as a skunk tripping over things, I don't want to trip over another drunk. Another drunk. <laughs> I don't want to trip over a bum. Hey. Hey, yo. Wow. What's the role my broadcasting? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the, difference, the difference between me and a homeless person stumbling down the sidewalk of Duval Street at 3 in the morning, mm-hmm. the <laughs> smell of urine. They, uh, yeah. they smell like it, and I don't. And that's why they should be rounded up and shipped off to Stock Island, and I should be left the fuck alone. Hey, one of the funniest things I've seen on Duval Street <laughs> was uh, at Fantasy Fest a few years back, and there was a couple of guys I saw them earlier couple of guys in, in a giraffe suit. You know, one guy in the back, one guy in the front. A draft mm-hmm. suit? A giraffe. Oh, giraffe, giraffe. suit. Yeah. Giraffe. Okay. Draft. okay. Uh, about maybe two or three hours later, I'm going down the street again. Here's the back half of the of the giraffe <laughs> passed out in the bushes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Still in the costume. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. That's um, that gives me an idea, Suds. You go to Key West every <laughs> once in a while. Don't, uh, oh, yeah. don't you? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, let's get a donkey suit, because <laughs> I've always wanted to be the ass's ass. <laughs> That's your but, dream. It, well, <laughs> one it's, of it's one of them. Free health care is another one. Free health care. <laughs> and uh, and free, free weed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be great. Free gray goose. <laughs> oh, actually, thanks, thanks to Buy the Glass, Thursday, 6 to 7 here on SoFloRadio.com. That's that free alcohol. The, the few boozes that doesn't get me sick. Mm. I, I can drink that. What's that, gray goose? Yeah, I can take it and I'm oh, and I'm fine. I, I don't get oh, a hangover. I, know. I get it's fine a, it's a nice myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about the day after. I'm like Robertson. 
Tequila, mm-hmm. that's which is a reason that I was drinking marathon drinking the margaritas. Tequila uh-huh. is a is a good I don't get uh, sick off of it drink for yeah. me. Yeah. And yeah. the thing about the margarita that's very important, you know, vitamin C so you don't get scurvy. You can get, there you are. Well, that's right. When you can get Key drunk West, and yeah. vitamins at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> it's important to keep your, your you, you know, you gotta, when you're drinking, you've got to stay hydrated and keep your vitamin level up. And uh-huh. so, therefore, margarita. You know, stick, stick some protein powder in there, and it'll be the perfect drink. Yeah, but, uh, you know, rum. Ew. That, yeah, does, that does it. And I like, I like the taste of it. Uh, but, yeah, well, I like and that's why I put it in a gin and tonic with quinine water. Yeah. You don't have to worry about those teetsy flies. What is quinine? You know? It's a... Uh, Makes you burp. Is it bile? It, no, it's a... Um, i got to look that up. It's, Since we found out what a... In the old days, was. it was yeah. Alka-Seltzer. Yeah. It's what you drank for uh, it tastes uh, yummy. upset stomach. I have, by Yellow the way. Yellow fever and such, uh, it was yeah. used for, to mm. treat that. And uh, Here we go, quinine. There's a quinine, tonic water. Because really, I have bottles of it, tonic water with quinine. Uh-huh. In oh, the, yeah. In it's the quinine. refrigerator. You know, because I have all this gin and vodka here that sure. I need to get... It's a natural white crystalline alkaloid yeah. having a what? Mm. Oh, fever reducing. Having an antipyretic, fever reducing, what? Anti-malarial analgesic. Well. <laughs> I'll have a glass right now. And yeah. anti-inflammatory properties. Yeah. That's what I was and a yeah. bitter And a bitter taste. Yeah. And there's mm-hmm. the molecule for it. So it's like medicine. Well, I'm fine with quinine. And you know who else is? <laughs> See, that's and, what people drank before the Holocaust. Uh, then we got Alka-Seltzer after that. <laughs> Alka-Seltzer, tested on Jews, <laughs> yeah. so you know it's good. It was 225, <laughs> self-oil <laughs> radio. Oh, uh, <laughs> God. Yeah, we're here. doing a John Boner impression. I'm trying to get a commercial I'm break. Oh. <laughs> right side <laughs> tangerine. Nobody likes me. <laughs> Can we take the break? SoFloRadio.com. SoFloRadio.com. Radio's dirty little secret. This man suffers from cock and mouth disease. Are you online? Well, I don't go in for that computer stuff. Then we're not interested in you. SoFloRadio.com. We're rewarding you for something you already do, listening to us. It's Radio Loyalty, and it's an easy way for you to get free stuff. All you do is sign up. Go ahead and click the banner now. You'll earn points as you listen, points you can trade in for great products and services in the Radio Loyalty store. You can earn even more points when you share your favorite station with friends on Facebook and Twitter. Radio Loyalty, it's free to sign up, so click the banner to join now. So flowradio.com. Give us a call at 95 954- Four nine nine triple zero thirty six. Mobile users call nine five. Hey, young man. Yeah. Uh, listen, I've seen you hanging around my house, and yeah, I, there's I'm something willing. I want to talk to you about. What is it, Mister Blake? Well, listen here now. Yeah. I'm gonna put it this way. Yeah. This man suffers from cock and mouth disease, a spreading epidemic that comes from eating contaminated chicken without washing your shoes. The result of sinister chicken processors who slip some cock into the mix. Warning signs of cock and mouth disease include bucking with O-shaped lips, an uncontrollable urge of pecking for nourishment, a glazed face, and fluid dripping out of the mouth. We need your help to find a cure. Your generous contribution of 20 bucks. In the year 2000, or should I say 2001? Uh-oh. It's possessed by the devil. Look what it does, though. What did it do? It what? just froze. It just... See? It farted. All right. Oh, yeah. is it still doing its stupid update thing? Because that's probably uh, yeah. one of the reasons for it. I, I have a feeling that as soon as it's over, all that. That's all right, because this phone, and I, I just I, I hope it's not Clem. This phone has been ringing oh. nonstop okay. during that last commercial break, and I just, I'm just i afraid of who it might be. Hello, SoFlo Radio. 
Boy, no. Oh, jeez, boy. Nailed well, good night, it. folks. It has been oh, great, great being with you. Great show, son. Hey, they he's, sold he's that over, the over for... there. Uh, I want to smoke a pipe now too. Suds gets me. It's a horrible peer pressure. Come hey, po- pony up to the table, Suds. For... This calls for oh, you. I didn't know we were four million two hundred thousand dollars. What was there? They, There's no verb they in that, that sentence. They sold that Batmobile for four million two two hundred thousand. Is that right? That doesn't sound right, Natalie. It was like four million. Yeah. Was it four really? million? Yeah, it was four million. Was that on the, uh, I seen it. I seen it. Was that on the Bartlett and James auction? Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Bartles and James? There, While there, you, well, you're Jack. talking to Clem, I'm going to go get my pipe. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you, Suds. <clears throat> well, yeah, you know, but but the reason the, the price was so dog. high, it had a full-size spare. He didn't get oh, that. Oh, by but, the way, <laughs> this here's okay. Clem Tire Fucker. <laughs> yeah. And there's people on Facebook... They don't know how to get y'all. I put up there twice how to get station to get on. He enrolled in the broadcasting school too. Yes, yeah, he did. Yeah. I'm, I'm enrolled in it. Yeah, He's the instructor at mine. School of fuck <laughs> The show's dead now. Great <laughs> That's it, yeah. Bulldogs. You know, the only time I've ever had a worse experience was I was in an alley, and all of a sudden, two dance gangs showed up. And, I, and there I was, right in the middle of a beat-up flash mob. That was the only thing scarier than Clem. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Hey, the show's got... Oh! Oh! We're getting pruned. I pinged. We're getting pruned as we're on the air. I, I forget, Clem. Where are you living now? Okay. I, uh, Thank you, well, yeah. Thanks for calling. <laughs> I think he's out. <laughs> Well, welcome back to the Suds Coleman Show. Westfield, <laughs> Pennsylvania. George stepped out for just a moment. Yeah. Because I, someone's pruning. Well. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Someone's Who's pruning. Oh, my God. Huh? What? Is there somebody in there? I I, I wasn't in there. I'm confused. I was busy what sticking my ass out the again? window. It's, it's bad feng shui. Did we hang up on Clem yet? Oh. I, maybe. <laughs> Did we get rid of Clem yet? Uh, oh, I no, that's it, you. Oh, Clem's calling Suds on his cell phone now, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, you're right. <laughs> so the knock on the door, you know the, the the famous weed whacker guy that we like so much? They're pruning. But he's, he's pruning, and he wanted me to move my vehicle, and I said no. And you said no way. He's, there, he's about to uh, dr- uh, drop some palm fronds right on I want to whack some weed. You know what I'm talking about? Good Lord. We could always try to take the pl- play all those bits that you didn't get a chance to play during the last <laughs> break. You mean the second half of them? Yeah, the second half of the bits. What happened to Clem? He disappeared. I didn't hang up on him. I was he clear right across the, the room. I don't know. know. Maybe his phone bill was due today. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, speaking of old news, because I, I have a, a sheet of notes here. Let me just hold it up for the camera. I have a sheet of notes that I've been working on for like a month. Uh-huh. There's overflow on the back over here. Hey, the fiscal cliff thing. That was like, uh, that was like on hey. Y2K. See, the whole dog and pony show that they do. Hey, now we fell off the fiscal cliff. Don't you all feel better? Yeah, I feel great. Yeah. Oh, uh, I fell off that a long time ago. In nothing fact, happened. I'm still falling. You know. Interesting. Goes, oh man, yeah. here it goes. It's, it's a long way. It's a long way it. down. He's <laughs> gonna drop a palm frond right <clears throat> through my windshield. Over here. I don't care. I don't care. Nine five four ninety nine triple o thirty six. If you're anybody but Clem. So here's what I saw. What did you see? What did you see? They have uh, figured out a way to store data on uh, on DNA. What? Yeah. They downloaded all of William Shakespeare's sonnets, 154 of them, uh, a video clip, an audio clip, some photographs, a 26-page technical uh, paper, something else. Uh, but anyway, mm-hmm. onto a strand of DNA, and it, the room that it took up was minuscule. Okay. Whose DNA? Anybody's they want to make. Really? Yeah. But how do you, like, how do you read it? Is that like a QR code? Well, Can I scan it with my yeah. phone? Well, what they have to do, you know, is uh, change. Uh, you, first, you have to convert the ones and zeros. Hey, there's some now. Uh, <laughs> into, uh, into four letters, uh, the four letters of DNA. So that has to be done. And then uh, the problem right now with it is the readback, which is perfect, but it takes a while. And that's going to be, uh, you know, one of those things that uh, pretty soon it won't take long at all. Well, I thought that was pretty cool. I just could uh, walk around with. Uh, yeah, you could inject information to your fingers. Yeah. 
Hey, I already do. Here, Sounds dandy. Read this one. Uh-huh. Oh, I, got a, oh, I got a USB port in my nose. That's why. Sorry. <laughs> I did, you weren't supposed to see that one. Here's the one. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Even better. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And maybe you can explain cool. this to me. 3D printing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, no, I read a guy wants to build work? a house using a 3D printer. Yes. It kind of works. They haven't yeah, perfected well, it. Of course. It. Well, it's, it, it works for certain things, just yeah. you can't get everything out of it. All right. But what is it? You print out like a printout and then you build a puzzle? It, it, it generates objects, typically out of plastic. Huh. Oh. That's, that's what. So you, How does it do that? Uh, you look online and there's a video mm. of how it works, but... Uh, it it creates a mold. Mm-hmm. Do you have to wear glasses? Point by point, no. Oh. Uh, after the object is scanned, you know, all, like the three sides of it, yeah. top, bottom, and then the, the other side, yeah. uh, that information goes into a computer, obviously, that then creates a mold mm-hmm. by, by uh, generating... Um, I, I forget exactly what they use to make the mold out of, but it's like the... I, I think I have one in the other room, one of those things, the little things with the pins in it that you stick your face in. You okay. know, yeah. The little you haven't seen the things with the pins. No, where you, you stick, stick your, your face in. No, yeah. I have play not some, seen that. Some incidental <laughs> oh, this music. is wonderful. You're gonna like this. Maybe I threw oh it away. God! <laughs> oh. What is this? Jeez. Oh, I didn't use it very much. As yeah. If, as if we could pull that up quickly on this. Thing. Yeah, and, uh, it's, gonna, yeah. it's gonna freeze again. I know it. I don't know how we're gonna do the outro, but I'll do the best uh, I can. Maybe I'll. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Some I th- I threw it away for lack of of use. You've seen them; they're little novelty items. You get them at Spencer's, the place where they have the black lights and the mm-hmm. the electric ball that you put your hand on. Sure, okay. Anyway, it's a little framework. Sometimes they're round, sometimes they're rectangular, mm-hmm. and they have all these. They're not pins like owl needles. Okay. Uh, they're little pegs. Like sensory okay? little things. Little pegs, just little pegs, and they they slide back and forth. Okay. And so you slide them in one way, and then you can put your hand on it, and it creates a hand imprint. Oh. And you just set that up on your shelf. So anyway, wow, the three D wow, wow. printer is a thing like that. It, like it uses that kind of thing to create different depths of mm-hmm. of object on the on the two sides of it, okay. if you will. The the pins create the the surface on one side mm-hmm. and the surface on the other side, mm-hmm. and then that those are frozen in place. Mm-hmm. That becomes the mold. You put it together. They inject plastic into that. So let's say you could scan something like a, a pipe or mm-hmm. something, and then the the mold will make it. But it's so wait, you what? can't get complex things out of Why it. Why is this useful? What is this? Because you can make an object. You can copy an object of any shape, uh, and get more of it. So the I got my request in for Catherine Hagel. <laughs> <laughs> you want a three D print out of yeah. Catherine? <laughs> yes, well, please. they have those. Uh, they have those websites. Oh, <laughs> all you need are those glasses. Have you have you and seen the uh, the three D HD yet? Speaking of technology, yes. So um, yeah, yeah I it'll was look really good. Mis- it it looked really good. I saw. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it was. However, four K TV. You read it or heard about this? No. Does no. it travel through time? Uh, no, but oh. uh, uh, apparently, this is going to. It's already made HD obsolete. Oh wow! So look to Sony. <laughs> They've got 4K it. Four K is coming. You know what? I'm really glad that I didn't update everything. <laughs> I still, as a, as as everyone uh, in the studio can plainly see, mm-hmm. I'm still working on my good old cathode ray tube over there. Yeah, sure. Regular, I don't know. The pixels are about as big as your finger. <laughs> Look, you can see the scan lines from here. Yeah, yeah. Five hundred twenty-six of them. I the love way. the VHS player. We learned that at FCC well, class. You. It's a combination. It's a yeah. VHS and DVD, DVD player, so that I can copy my VHSs. <laughs> Very modern. The of reason you. that that TV is still there. <laughs> Flat on top. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a, the it's, double duty. It's not so much a TV as it is a shelf. You know, you can't build a decent Ford out of a flat screen TV box. I mean, yeah, the flat screen, you know? I go to these people's houses with a flat screen. It's like, how the hell are you going to set something on top of that? <laughs> Listen, I got my Matador and Bull. Where am I going to put them put now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've got Matador, Bull, Flamenco, Dancer set. I... What what now? I gotta throw that away. Oh, thank you very much. I don't even know where to put this shit now. Doilies. I got all these doilies. What the hell? All what that crochet do? work you did too. Seriously. Man, oh man. Is doily crochet? I'm walk in here. Here's Jorge sitting there with a joint hanging out of his mouth, oh, crocheting yeah. away. Doily. Ever Thought beautiful. Was, beautiful. I was trying, hey, you know, been, as, ever since I turned Muslim, I've been trying to knit my own hat. Yeah. You know, my own head <laughs> head doily, uh-huh. the hat, and I just they I don't know how to make it curve. They all come uh, out flat, yeah. so yeah. I just wind up with all these doilies everywhere. Use a grapefruit. Okay. 
Just do yeah. it on the grapefruit. <laughs> what a good idea. A grapefruit uh, doily. Yeah. My head is uh, a little bit bigger. Grapefruit doilies. <laughs> and a grapefruit. It'll make a great doily or yamaki. You know, I had a friend in North Carolina. You know, when you're in middle school, you're really sensitive about being gay. You know, your sexuality, yeah. you're very sensitive about that. Of course. So this particular person, we'll call him Jeff because that was his name. He, he liked to knit in class. Uh-huh. Knit, knit and crochet in class, and what he would knit and crochet in mm-hmm. middle class in, in, in middle school. He wow. liked to knit, and because that didn't make him look gay enough, yeah. neither did his his uh, his way that he spoke and everything. Okay, that wasn't making him gay enough. But what he would knit is he would make he would make cock and ball cozies for <laughs> his, for his male friends that you would slide them over your package and then cinch them. That's and, not true. To keep them warm in the winter. That's not true. I swear on the lives of my children, Natalie. That's not true. That, that is true. I do not believe you. And, friend, and his brother cut the back of my hand. <clears throat> he was one of twins. They were opposite twins. You ever know about people that you ever hear that? Like no. they're called mirror twins. Were the opposite of each other. Really? The brother was like a, a really nasty, horrible. He like walked like a caveman. He had like a loping his head between his shoulders, kind <laughs> of a stance. <laughs> and he played drums. And his hey, brother everyone. Jeff. That was that was Joe. And his brother Jeff played the trumpet and the <laughs> piano and the violin and rode a unicycle and could play the trumpet and the violin while riding a unicycle all at the same time and he would knit little cock and ball cozies for every, all of his friends in middle school. It's like, here you go. I made you one. It's red, white, and blue because I know you're patriotic. <laughs> well, you and might that. have had... Uh, and Jeff, it fits perfectly His brother I Joe measurement. carved an X in his head and then uh, carved a, a slash across the back of my hand. He carved an X Fif- in his own head 15 or in stitches his into his own head. Into his own head. Oh, he was always beating up his brother. I hate you. You're a faggot and you look like me. Ah! What? So in Montana... Yes. I had so like a, a nose mitten. <gasps> what? Okay. You know, I have Hello Somebody, Kitty. Somebody, uh, a, a fan, knitted me a nose mitten. Fit right over your nose and then And, you and he's not back. shitting. And then you tie it in the yeah. back. I you have. Know, I've been requested to be one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> and I'm sure it was very cozy. I have Hello Kitty mittens, kitten mittens, uh-huh. and Hello Kitty How do you greet Hello Kitty? I love Hello right, Kitty. Right here. Right by you. Really? Really? Jinx, Uh-oh. you owe me a Coke. 19 till 3. Oh, no, there's no break. Oh, oh really? Oh. No, are you kidding? After oh, this? Oh. This is Listen, down, This man. is reboot time for this baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If we she get, if we get through the outro, we'll be, we'll be doing good. So. <laughs> no, no problem. We, we, I got all kinds of stuff. Keep talking. People waited a long time for this show. So yes. That's, that's uh, true. I want to. I, I mean, there's nothing to say. I went to Orchid last night, and it was fun. Except that it's, it's a, a good show. Do you recommend it's, it? It's a good show, and I do recommend it. It's a little bit pricey, as someone pointed out, but okay. they have a Groupon running around for it. It sold okay. out a lot. They, it was here since November. I come to find out, like I found out about it right, way late because I didn't. You know, yeah. Your my, Facebook what, posting. What was the show? Uh, uh, Orchid. Orchid. It said Orchid. Adult Circus. Oh, because of pro- yes. Which I thought <laughs> you used to go to every day at one time. This, this is the Adult Circus. <laughs> You know, and, and instead of animal acts, they have tits. That was one of my comments. How much I is said. it? Uh, each ticket uh-huh. is ninety dollars. Ah, but that's the, that's only the beginning of the gougening that you go okay. there. Fifteen mandatory valley parking, fifteen dollars there, and then uh, the drinks are expensive. Twelve dollars beers. They and it's a circus, and so, you know the thing about circuses is they try to rip you off, and mm-hmm. you don't go to the circus if you don't want to be ripped off. So Just don't we, go. they have a they have a a restauranty area. The whole mm-hmm. place is all built up like circus, like high class circus, yeah. floorboards and everything. And so they have a little bit of a restauranty area. Um, myself and my date went in there to get a, f- a couple of appetizers and cocktails. Mm-hmm. We ordered two cocktails and then the check. Like let's get the cocktails and take our cocktails to go. Yeah. And as soon as we got our check, this is like five seconds after they gave us our drinks. The the check has uh, three gin and tonics on it. And I said, charge this for three. And the guy's like, oh. Ugh. You only had two. Uh, not only did we only have two, they just, just showed up. We haven't even touched them. I'm not done squeezing my lime in mine. A, <laughs> oh, uh, so, uh, uh, and then they have a cocktail bar area in the middle. Like they have this, they set up kind of um, an area. The the, I learned a new word. The Spiegel tent. It's called the Spiegel tent, Spiegel which is one of those can really fancy. Oh, that's, uh, Chicago, circus. Illinois, six oh six oh nine. Okay. <laughs> so a spiegel. I don't know. <laughs> Suds gets it. A Spiegel tent apparently means mirrored tent, and okay. there are only so many of them in existence mm-hmm. anymore. And it's like really beautiful on the inside. It's a, mo- a, a lot of wood. It's, it's a, like a wood framework with the the canvas over the top of it, and you know, really nice inside and everything. So they have this bar area in the middle of the area, in between the bathrooms and the restaurant, and um, 
all that. Two two lines, people going up and get drinks. Intermission, 10 minutes intermission. I run to the bathroom. I run to the line. I want to get there before anybody else gets there. Damn it, there's a couple in front of me. Okay, I can handle being behind. There's no behind. line to Do the guy's couple. bathroom. No, no, no. I got to the bathroom quick and Oh, out. okay. Listen, oh, okay. intermission during any kind of a show or a concert or something mm-hmm. like that, there's a line. Not the, like the girl's bathroom line, nevertheless. Yes. But I got in and out of the bathroom fine. I was, I, I was getting more cocktails. I went to the bar thing. Here's my bar story. And you, you're, Go. you would believe this because it's South Florida. It's unbelievable, but it's South Florida, so you'd believe this. <laughs> I run right. to the bar. I run to the bar thing. See, every time he says that, I hear bear. You see, I'm reading the lineup on this. I get to the bar thing, and there's a couple, an old, eh, like older than me couple, which these days, that means venerable. Uh An older than me couple, (laughs) they get there first. They didn't have to go to the bathroom. It's all right. One couple in front of me. Okay, I can handle waiting behind one couple. Can't I? Can you? An old married couple. Only 50-something. That's not very old. No. Anyway. Have they're asking the guy about everything, and I'm like, uh, and I'm looking, and I've already gotten cocktails from him before, so he knows me and he knows that I'm a tipper, and I'm like, and I'm leaning over, I'm yeah. leaning over around him, going, <laughs> oh my god, dude, I just do gin and tonics, man, I just, like I'm sorry, gotta wait, and they're like, do you have this? No, we have this, this, and this. Do you have this? And, and, the, and this was the clincher. This was the punchline. Go. They just ask every wine, every wine, and um. Do you have Chardonnay? And he's and he's translating for his wife. I don't know what they speak. I think it's French. I think they're French Canadians. Like, do you have Chardonnay? And he goes, Yes, I have Chardonnay. And he and he says, blah, 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 Chardonnay. Oh, blah, 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 Chardonnay. And the the guy turns to the to the um, bartender and goes, What kind of Chardonnay? <laughs> like, oh, oh, punch no. on the back of the head. Get the fucking horn. <laughs> the lineup here. <laughs> It yes. sounds like the uh, headliners for a drag show. If Tell you... me if I'm wrong. <laughs> right. Ava Cosmos. Mm-hmm. That's one. Uh, <laughs> Lexi Romano. Not, <laughs> n- not to be cheesy. And my favorite. Uh, where'd she go here? Um, oh, here it is. Kitty Kitty Bang Bang. Kitty yes. Kitty Bang Bang. Oh, why didn't I think <laughs> of that name? I've heard you, of that. You, you could have. By the way, one of the characters' names was Pussy. She was the fire, I would say fire breather, but she did not breathe any fire. She just kind of swung it around a little bit. Okay. However, she was hot and put on a really good show. Were yeah, they really real girls? Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me tell you something. There were no transgendered people in this show. And I know this because <laughs> well, you said there, breathe was, fire. there was no room for any uh, variables. You understand? Okay. As the show progressed... Oh, you can't tell, man. The clothing... That's what duct tape's for. No, no, no. As the show progressed, uh, less and less clothing was worn until there was very little left to the imagination. In the audience? Really? Yes. In the audience, too. So was this the the, the adult circus or the the trapeze? The the aerial... They had that. Well, they had the the aerial acrobatics, the the, the veils and the straps that people swing from. Uh Let me tell you something. The The guy that was the star of the aerial acrobatics... Mr. Chiseled Good Looks and everything, uh-huh. ripped. And I'm like, like, I says to my date, I go, I said, he, he only eats celery. That's all he eats. And in between every show, <laughs> sit-ups. Nothing but sit-ups. I mean, he just, he jumped out there, he dropped his like robe thing or something like that. And <clears throat> nothing but crunchy muscles, like definition, like, and yeah. it wasn't drawn on. Like, you just like, you could see. All of his abs just stuck out like three inches, like, uh. And watch this one, and he, you know, pull out an arm, and just like all these muscles would pop up, and then he like he grabs a strap and just launches himself into the air like Spider Man does the Iron Cross thing, flings himself around with one arm upside down, it's like just a, like uh, gravity has no effect on me. I'm chiseled, man. Now let me do this. Hey, hey, did you like the front? Now look at my back. <laughs> you could actually hear the much little crunching on this guy. Yeah, he probably well, buys a story. I says to my date, I guess. He gets paid a lot of money just to do sit-ups all day long. That's all he does. Although, all right. since it's a circus thing, you know that in between shows, you know he's nailing and hanging and pulling oh, yeah. the ropes yeah. and everything. That's one of the lost Setting drops. Setting the popcorn machine. Remember the yeah. drop we had? Which one? It's a circus. No. <laughs> it's gone. I think when they By destroyed who? those carts... Uh, uh, when, 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 when did, I don't remember after that After WIOD, drop. remember they had all the carts in the warehouse? Yeah, yeah. 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 And they threw them out. We lost a lot of good stuff. We did. No, I only have Monty Python's flying. Oh, it was a Paxson, like, yeah. I don't remember that. It's drop, a so it, must, psychist. it must not have been that good if I don't remember it. That well, was good to me. <laughs> <laughs> little by little. The good news is uh, most of the other people in the audience forgot all, <clears throat> all of those things, too. Suds Coleman's notepad, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I got I, more stuff, too. I wish I could read some of it. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah. You want to borrow my glasses? You want to borrow Boca's glasses? Hey, I noticed my Christmas tree 
seems to be taking itself down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That was January 19th. Uh, <laughs> there you go. See if oh, it helps. Uh, oh, no? it's not You're bad. Right? I just can't read my writing. Okay. You know. Three you can see perfectly fine. They got fine, printers yeah. all over the house and stuff. And no. You know. You just no. right. That makes sense. Now oh, is it my turn? I'm trying to get my more. I'm trying to get my, oh, I'm, I'm I'm trying trying to get my pipe in. Oh, okay. The clock is slowly ticking. Hey, you know, I had a... <laughs> <laughs> what well, well, you were looking at? I had an awful dream last night. Yeah. I dreamt I was reading. Oh! Uh, yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> Actually, I got a book for my birthday from someone who doesn't know me. <laughs> <laughs> True story. It's up there in the bookcase. You want it? Mm-hmm. I do read. I do. You know, I got I, the yeah. Kindle all fired up uh, about twice a day, but, uh, you know. I read more than I want to. Yeah. This stuff, emails, st- computer manuals, how to do this. That's why I got these stupid uh, action mitts on because I'm on the computer too much. By the Those end of cool. the day, I, I don't want to read anything. These are the neatest things. Did you yeah. try them on? Yeah, I did. I think they're the, awesome. The, oh, I'm just sitting. Smart. What are they for? Opening jars? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh. They 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 uh, their hand rests. You can uh, they keep your hands lifted up above the surface so that you can relax and still manipulate mice and keyboards. Oh, and not that's get a good idea. Not get you can just put your dead weight now. I got a little thing that just rests on my wrist. I got I rest my wrist on it. I got that over there, right on top of the brown thing. The brown. Oh, I, yeah. There's so many. My bones. wrist rest. I got that for my birthday too, but it's over yeah. there at that computer so station. You don't have no. any more. Uh, you don't have any oh, more notes, yeah. Suds. Suds, we, Suds, we need. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, boy. Suds. I found, I found your. Uh, there you go. Oh. It's all yours. Flintstones. What is it? This, this is for more notes uh, for for your Suds observation. Reads, Suds reads comedy uh, interlude music. Well, let's see. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, I was watching Brian Williams last night, the uh, Rock Center show. Anybody see that by any chance? No. Of course, the not. Rock no. Center. Nobody ever watches that show. And they had a, a little girl on there. Who was in a movie? She is the youngest girl to be uh, nominated for an Academy Award. Of course, yeah. I don't remember her name or what the movie was. The movie's the the Wild Thing movie. It's like uh, uh, something in yes, the wild. Yes. Uh, well, anyway. Yeah. She was a cute little kid. She is. And she was talking about uh, they were sending her to acting school. And I'm thinking, you know, sending a girl to acting school is like sending an Irish kid to drinking school. <laughs> <laughs> well, what the. Byron Thank Eggers, you. ladies and gentlemen. I was Beautiful. wondering when you would call. Cleaning my gun here. Uh, right. Uh, I should leave this on for Byron. D- please please do. What, what, are you, what are you wearing now? I'm uh, wearing my Fuck the FCC t-shirt. Wow. Yeah. That gets you hot, nice. doesn't it? My, oh, yeah. I love it. Shirt yeah, that man. says fuck. We, 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 can, we can agree on that. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm wearing some uh, o- O'Neal uh, swim, sh- swim shorts, as a matter of fact. Swim shorts and a Fuck the FCC t-shirt. Right on. Oh, and, and, so. and, uh, it and, works. And some uh, footy socks. That'll get you laid in uh, Washington, D.C. And, and my smart gloves. <laughs> and a hat. A SoFlo Radio hat. <laughs> Did I give you your SoFlo Radio hat, Byron Eggers? By if a anyone, senator. No, I don't have it. anyone needs one. Well, the next time that you hat. visit the studio, which I hope you do again. Oh, I, sure, yeah. I can't wait. Should have invited you another, today. Next time you, you, you have another Friday off, I had a good time with that. Um... And just so you know, like, you know, Boca Brian's using the, the computer the way that it's supposed to be, and it's still mm-hmm. fucking up. So you don't have to worry about all those <laughs> loose ass, uh, lo- loose ass breaks that you uh, that you bore up. <laughs> hey, I finally st- downloaded the virtual DJ, so I'm going oh. to move into the uh, world Practice of on it. it is a great tool radio. when it works, and, yeah, and that really better. is dependent no on the computer. I just had to get familiar with it. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. And finally, uh, newsflash to you, mm-hmm. in, in a roundabout sort of way, we got the Live 365 thing uh, straightened out. Thank you for your advice nice. on that. And uh, and the uh, radio loyalty, uh, talk about a, I'm doing a ghetto relay for mm-hmm. everybody else for that can't mm-hmm. encode. I just mm-hmm. I have a computer dedicated to, uh, to doing the relay myself, and I'm just encoding for everyone. How do you like that? That's so nice. Good. So there, yeah, we're on there. We're on everything. And now coming up next, iTunes, those bastards in their ivory towers, man. I just want to rip them down. Well, what's wrong with <sighs> them? I keep submitting the stream to iTunes. iTunes. iTunes has a radio player in, yeah. built in, and I want to be on it. And, and they have a talk radio uh, news talk section. section. Yeah, right. And they have criteria. We meet the criteria. I submit the, the station and the stream to them, and then I just don't hear back from them because, you know, we're Apple. Fuck you. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> So. Man, oh man, I don't know what to tell you there. You know, hey, I heard your show, uh, Boca, on uh, WNN. Uh, you're doing a great job with that. I really think you do a good job with that. That's, that's very right. nice yeah. of you to say. It's, thanks. It's a nice it's way to pass a part of Sunday. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad somebody likes it. I passed a part of Sunday this morning. 
Oh. That's how long it took. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long you're going to get away with trashing general managers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know the one I'm thinking of. It worked for Neil, so. Yeah, There's, yeah, it worked for Neil, but I don't think it's the only person so far that I know of yeah. that's worked for in his business. No <laughs> names have been mentioned, so. <laughs> and there's so many of them. Who knows? Yeah, there you go. See? Yeah. I don't want to mention well, Joe Bell by name, but we can now because he's no longer there. So. <laughs> Took his the, clapper uh, away. Uh, yeah, no, I, but I, I, I heard the show, and uh, I just think that, um, wow, I was just, I, I, you do such a great show. And I mean, I disagree with a lot money. of what you say, but I just think the show is good. I think it sounds great. You know, you, 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 it, but, they don't have anything even close to that on the air there. It's like the only show on that entire radio station or all three car. of those radio stations that sounds like a professional radio show. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying. So I, nice. And, you know, it's hard to yeah, get in front of that just, mic with no sponsors. That's all I yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> could be the dress. Yeah. It could be the dress thing. I don't know. What the, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't wear a dress. And I don't have any sponsors. I don't hear. Yeah. 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 You don't wear a dress and you don't have any sponsors. So? Yeah. I, have a f I have a few sponsors and it's not because of how I dress. I guess I the, only, the, the only difference you could really find in all this is that uh, it really doesn't matter what you're wearing. Yeah. You can either sell it or you yeah. can't. Right. The only way we get sponsors is we send Natalie's out there, maybe. Oh, there you go. <laughs> They'll buy it just to have her come into their office. Funny. No. It's not that easy, actually. It's funny because it's true. How do you think the auto parts industry it's makes sad. their money? They hire and, and the hot delivery and the, girls. And the pharmaceutical hot industry. Hot delivery girls. Yeah. Pharmaceutical it, it, All the pharmaceutical it's, reps it's are hot. It's sad, but it is true. Okay? It is. The whole, you know, I mean, it's like, it well, really I don't hurts think us all guys. You know? I mean, we're out here working our ass off. <laughs> I don't know if that's sad. <laughs> it's very sad to have an attractive woman come into your place. <laughs> 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 It just deflates the whole deal. You know, here you are working your ass off. Here comes some chick from some no-name company, and she takes God out her catalog, chips. and everybody's gathered around. And you're there yeah. you go, because that's how we do, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta yep. represent. Well, you know, as, as uh, some of these auto parts stores, they hire these very hot-looking uh, delivery girls so that the sure. guys, even if there's nothing they need... <laughs> Yeah. They'll call them. Are you sure you don't and, want something and, Bill, else? Bill, this is your third carburetor this week. And you know <laughs> you know the acronym for Boca Raton Auto Parts? What? Oh, boy. Oh, brap. <laughs> brap. Yeah, that is correct. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I just that's true. Even, even the, the you think me playing wants, music is a you know, show they killer. They hire the hot-looking chicks to sell cars, and they outdo the guys, and the chicks don't know a damn thing about the cars. You know, what I mean, I mean, it's like, and it really gets the guys pissed off. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, and they're working their ass off trying to sell a car. The old ball headed, greasy looking guy. Fuck auto yeah. salesman, yeah. by the way. Hard in the ass with you your dick. first. Yeah. yeah. Not that there's anything wrong. We're with Working real hard to sell a car, they can blow me. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Hey, that's my line. They can, oh, that's, <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. you could blow Boca. <laughs> Bring them with. Like, like you, you, <laughs> do you need an auto salesman to choose a car for you? Shut up. Get away from me. I'm looking around over here. Uh, here's Boca. Use him for a while. Hey, what's yeah, your commission? Well, Give it to me. I'll order my car from yeah. Amazon. Get out of my <laughs> face. I'll, I'll, I'll walk in the businesses with my Daisy Dukes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll walk in backwards, though. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I think that uh, wow, the show is great today. I really uh, and, uh, thank you. To, uh, I'm gonna hear my show tomorrow night. Me Despite and uh, H Love, we do a little thing on Saturday nights <laughs> called uh, Reggae Recipe Seven to Nine. It's kind of fun. Hey, remind me next time uh, you do that uh, thing. Which you one? Didn't, you, 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 I, I forgot if it was this Wednesday or, or next Wednesday. Every Wednesday, every Wednesday we do that. That's so right. You're welcome any Wednesday night. Seven to nine. Seven right here on, on SoFloRadio.com, which is heard on like Shoutcast, Icecast, Live 365, and all points in between. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I, I've, I've given up on that. I'm not going to start. I'm not going to announce, you know, what we're on anymore. I'm just going to say. It doesn't matter. Uh, it all comes from the same place. The whole show is like this list right. of Disclaimer. all the places that we're We're on doing. everything. If it streams that uh, we got, we're on there. See you, guys. Thank you, Byron. Hey, adios. Right. Oh, look, look. Eels. Bye, bye Yeah, lots of that. <laughs> Making cash from slithering eels. Boke oh. has been doing that for a long time. Because people it's, eat them in their sushi. Sure. Yeah, I don't like eel. I don't like eel either. That's not my bad. He looks baby. like a slither. It's about the only sushi I'm not crazy about. What's yeah. the other thing that's crunchy? That like like the crunchy crab that tastes like cockroach? 
Just like I'm eating a cock Oh, the, 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 the one that's not real crab. King crab. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, uh, that's, there's nothing real in that. It's all synthetic. Well, according according to dig, the Red Lobster commercials, don't dig the crunchy sushi. king crabs are red in anyway, the water. We should stop talking. We're about to Inside run out of time. Water. Thank you, Boca. Thank you, Natalise. Thank Bye. you, Suds. Oh, no. We got a whole other minute here. Oh. We oh. Do. Never mind. <laughs> well, I can still say thank you to these people. You can. Thank you, Jeff Rimmer. Uh, Rimmer? Listen, because when I put in Rimmer. the search engine for the rim shot, yeah. all of the Rimmer oh, stuff comes is up. Is that right? Uh -huh. <laughs> is he? I have no problem with default, but default is... It's just like that. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank um, all of the fangirls out there everywhere for the collection of coffee cups that I Yay. have. Yay. I want to thank uh, Vinny the Pimp for a wonderful birthday party and for not drawing on me with a Sharpie or teabagging me that I know of uh, while I was passed out on his couch. And for introducing me to all these uh, wonderful people that I know. Bye, bye, bye. And we're done. We're just like that. The <laughs> <laughs> Radio Network. <laughs> okay. It just sped right through, though. Uh, the good thing is we can end this whenever we want. Thank you so much for uh, joining us on the Night, Jordan folks. Rodriguez Pick and Suds Boca Show with Natalie Jimenez <laughs> Diaz, Clem Tire Fucker, and Byron Aggers, ladies and gentlemen, on SoFloRadio.com. I'm going to shut the microphones off now. Shut <laughs> <laughs> And the camera. <laughs>